make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. and early here at Hochanda and you know it is going to be an amazing amazing day so please do stay tuned all day but we are starting the day with a bang as well because we have got cool cats crafts here and everything is brand new we have got Maggie and Kay here in the studio first we, we are going to say hello to Maggie now hello hello <laughs> how are you doing I'm all good thank you hi everybody Kay's in the background yeah she'll, she'll be here later you know social distancing is a little bit complicated but we make it work we try mm -hmm. to do our best to make it work here at Hachanda now the front brand new items that you have brought uh, us we're really excited Excited. Well, we're always excited, yeah. but we're really excited today because we've got you some fab things. Yes, you yeah, do. We you, have, you have. We have. Now, the first item you have been waiting for months these and months. These dies, and I know a lot of cool cats have been waiting for these. We've been waiting for these since December. Obviously, with COVID, there were issues, but then when we finally got them through, they failed our quality control, so they went back. And now this is the, the final set that we've got. And a big shout out to Lisa um, because she really helped us get these sorted out. Uh, flowers. Now, of course, they have got the <coughs> colour that you know that it could represent Cool Cats Crash. But can you tell us a little bit? Well, we have got different options and you have been shopping ahead. So 10% already is gone this early of the mega bundle. Now, you have got individual options if you want to go for those ones. But of course, the saving and of course, you have got the freedom price, I believe. It's when you go for the mega bundle. So you are saving £18.99 if you are a freedom member, which is a fabulous price as well. Now, what we do, I'm going to start with my favorite dice here. The, you have got a clever strip die yeah. plate and the clever closures, the dumbbell and the swivel die set. Mm -hmm. What do they do? Okay, right. The clever strip die plate is a concept really to help you um, make your pages more dimensional in your albums to create perfect construction strips 
and also they help with doing um, dimensional cards within frames. So it's really, it's all about precision. Yes, you can score it on your scoreboard, but if you struggle, and also um, when you score your lines, it depends which tool you're using to score Absolutely. your lines. So this way it's actually precision scoring yeah. for you. And of course, that uh, uh, precision means that every single time it's going to be the it's same. It's going to be exactly so the same. Exactly. And the dumbbell and swivel are our new, um, they're really fun, they're our new um, closures that you can use with magnets, you can use without, you can make them as a little handle, you can make them as a little fold over, all sorts of things. So. And then yeah. you've got a swivel one as well, so that swivels to close your flaps and things yeah. like that. Then we have got part of the Mega Mandel. Remember that they are available individually. And also I need to mention that the Mega Man Bundle has got a flexible option. You get the mini, mini Mandarin and the Mexican flip flap set. Yes. Uh, these are designed, these are part of our um, Mandarin and Mexican die collection. We've got whiskers, we've got Mexican belly bands as well. So the first die actually yep. cuts into decorative paper, doesn't cut it completely and creates the flap. And then there's a smaller die which cuts completely and that's the mat, which is what the black is on there that you can see. And then obviously they're well closed with our magnets. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then we have got the Carrefour the slot, the slot die set. Yes, this is a new one that we've got today. Again, these photo slots cut into your decorative paper so you're not losing any of the images. And they're curved slots this time. We've actually given you a bit more room, so you've got a bit more wiggle room. And they come with dedicated mats that fit in. So the sizes of those are four inches by three inches, three inches by three inches, and three inches by two inches. And then a large walrus a flip flap <laughs> die. I need to. And then the large Victorian flip flap die. <laughs> so, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Again, Slowly. this is the same concept, it's just larger flip flap dies. You've got your one that cuts directly into the paper, then you've got the mat that cuts out completely. And again, these coordinate with our other um, whisker sets that we've got. So Fun. when we're talking about whiskers, they're yeah. actually edge dies that do decorative dies. I think we've probably got some on the website. Oh, fabulous. So if you want to go for this mega bundle, uh, the details are on the screen. 845-923 is the item number. You are getting uh, four, uh, seven, four times six die sets, 26 dies in total. Uh, £89.94 pence is the price if you're not a Freedom member with a £10 saving. But of course, if you're a Freedom member, £18.99 pence is your saving, which means it's a way not deal big makes sense to become a uh, big sense to become a freedom member too before you purchase this uh, also over 10 percent of the stock has already gone and you don't forget about the flexi option to spread the cost in interest-free payments also remember that you have got different options to go for individuals however the biggest saving is on the on the mega bundle well we have got album kit next uh, we have it here now I'm gonna now this is uh, you you can see here craft consortium beautiful papers now those ones are TV exclusive these papers so they haven't seen been seen anywhere else on TV and they are absolutely stunning look at those 12 by 12 papers in there you also are getting the gorgeous you get the precision cut uh, words MDF words which will tie in with your album and Christmas themes and you get there's actually 60 sheets double-sided of the paper uh, you also get your album kit and your black acid and lignin free card to make your album up as well. There are so many decorative papers in there Paolo, they're absolutely beautiful and there's actually enough to do the 9x9 nine nine album, um, a small album and uh, our memory box that's coming up later. But they're uh, double sided, they're absolutely stunning. And you are getting, is it three or uh, four? Some, some of them are three designs, some of them are two, two, two of each design. Um, there's some darker ones. There's a couple of cutout pages in the middle. Oh, let's have but a the look. But the grunge pad that goes with it coordinates absolutely beautifully. So now you've got your lighter ones, your mistletoes, your Good ferns. Hands. These are your cutout pages in the middle. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I love so that. they're really nice. And I have to say they're easy to cut out as well. Oh, I love um, them. But they all coordinate absolutely beautifully. I love, look, look, I need to show you this one. I haven't shown you oh, every single lovely. page, but uh, you can see in here. So, and then you have got the solids in here yeah. as well, which are, I have to say, the intensity of these ones are They're the very, beautiful. very rich and very regal. So yeah. as Heather would say, that's Heather, one of our design team. But they are absolutely stunning. Again, they're double-sided. Um, and you'll see that they have different sort of textures on each side. Some will look like um, sort of little tiny square blocks. Some will be sort of paint stripes. 
but it all blends in seamlessly and they're just absolutely beautiful papers and they're I, I, lovely to work with. I think this is phenomenal because also as a die cutter yeah. myself, I always in the look for solid colours that have got interest to yes. them because yeah. then they kind of have a, got a beautiful. Now the album kit. I start as you begin to go on. Is that I start as you start go, you mean to go you on. on. Exactly. Whatever the expression is far too early in the morning. <laughs> uh, I do apologize for this. Uh, let's get that back. Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's... <laughs> so that's now, the album cover just decorated on the front because um, I'm going to do a couple of pages, hopefully, if we get time to do that. Um, but uh, I concentrated, I decorated a little one first. And yeah, the box. I'm going to show this is the real size, and for the inside is. Yeah, yeah. You so can that's see. a smaller one, but there are enough papers to do a smaller album, a big one, and a box. So wow. you can see everything in there and but now, you can see how beautifully they coordinate yeah and of course there here you have been using the amazing dies that you from yeah. your collection yeah. so We've you can got see all the different dies that's the swivel one there and the bauble that's on there is actually from Karen's one day special oh so that's there as well okay. look so, at that yeah and by the way, the one day special come in at, at eight, and then the box as well. So you have got enough papers for mm -hmm. the large one, uh, the large album that is included. Mm -hmm. Then another a small if one that is not included. Yep. Yeah, and then we've got a memory box that's coming up on the second show with a drawer, yeah. and that's also been decorated with the papers. So you can still get it now if you want to shop ahead, but you can see how gorgeous those papers are. I mean, the strength of those gorgeous papers. Now, if you want to go for the box. Oh, sorry, I didn't do anything. I, did, I promise, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Paula, Literally. it's the little cat that's doing it. <gasps> that's exactly, it I'm going to blame it. <laughs> we haven't mentioned the cat as well. Uh, let it is. He's not a cat. I mean, he I'm is. not going to say well, how I describe my cat, but <laughs> I said it once on air. I'm not going to repeat it ever again. Um, but look at that. So now, this is a free gift that any purchase during this hour while the stocks last, you are going to get one of these MDF beautiful cats. So shop ahead, shop ahead, quick, uh, check out your baskets quickly to get one of these gorgeous cats. And you can call it whatever you wish to call it. It doesn't need to be wasabi or the old, you know. 584 uh, 529 five, uh, is your item number. Now, I need to mention that this cat, once it's gone, it's gone. So please do make, uh, make sure that you check out your baskets. You have also a flexi buy option, uh, two payments, 27 pounds and 50 pence. And remember, you are getting the grey board, also the, the new and yeah. the, um, magnets. Oh, yeah, magnets. Yeah. yeah. And then the archetype as well. You yes. Yeah. Yes. As, uh, it comes as a complete kit. So problems. really, you're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so everything that you are getting, gonna get, you can see there. It's a, you know, it's a bumper pack because there's papers, there is solids, there is, uh, of course, the grey board precision card, the architect, the MDF uh, cut out beautiful words as well. So everything uh, for fifty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, and you will have leftover papers, which means. Well, we we want to build our stashes, don't we? Now we have got a fabulous kit here as well. Now these papers are from Ciao Bella. These are from Ciao Bella. This is the Modern Times collection. These are absolutely beautiful. If you go into, um, if you're really into going to the movies, things like that, the papers all coordinate with that, with Broadway and the cinema. But what we're really excited about is, you, with Ciao Bella collections, you get a cut out page, yeah. a fussy cutting out page, and we've been in touch with Chow Bella and we've got an exclusive matching MDF shapes with you that coordinate with that. And um, it's only available in the kit on Hochanda or on our website. That's the only place you can get it. And that, of course, allows you... Let, let me grab this smaller one because that's going to... Now, that allows you to create something like this with the dimension, right? That's yes, and because we've brought the clever strip and you're doing dimensional pages in your album, it means you can put MDF elements in your album or thicker elements and your pages are still going to lay flat. And you can see how everything coordinates from the dies to the papers to the MDF. Yeah. Everything works as designed to work. I mean, if you know anything about Maggie and Kay, is that they do things properly. Not just that it will work a little bit, no, it has to everything work and is what you are getting here as well. Uh, acid and linen free black yeah. cards. Yeah. 
grey yeah. board and mm -hmm. of course the, the magnets and the archetype and the yes. instructions and the instructions yes fabulous and of course you are getting those beautiful ciao bella papers uh, already a uh, 20 percent of the stock has already gone is the, is once it gone it's gone isn't yeah it? we think it's yeah yeah so right please uh, do go ahead and check out those baskets you have got a flexi buy option two payments of 23 pounds 766581 is your item number and remember that the little one so if you check out your baskets quickly, you will get him as well, because one per customer in uh, the order. Look at him. It's just, just beautiful, isn't he? Uh, £45.99 is the price for this bundle. Moving down to brand new storage. Now, this is a storage with a twist. Uh, this is a different size from what we have yes, seen. Yes, it is. Yeah. So we've got a tall one for you, which obviously will hold our clever strip die. Oh, of course. Um, We've designed it because obviously there are some other dyes coming in the future that are going to need a longer dye oh. storage. Okay, just saying. Just saying. Sorry, Kay, I'll be in trouble again. But <laughs> just saying. Okay, and then um, we've designed, Kay's designed a smaller one. Yep, which, which is here. Which so. is a what we call a tabletop one. Ah. Okay, and that's designed to, so you can either have it long ways or upright like that it's designed to just be by by the side of you you know sometimes you've got lots of little dies yes just want to keep them on the side and when it's folded up it, it will fit in your project box perfect project box yep and also these ones are the ones that i kind of see myself put having it literally like this all the time yeah because it's like when i'm you know just even if it's a very large lie i'm gonna be gonna you just, I would put it just like this, so I kind of reach it quickly yes. when I'm, I'm working yeah. on it. Uh, and that sort of thing when you are doing repeated ones. Also, the, the larger one, you could have it horizontally yes. like that as yep. well. Uh, £24.98 and is the one price that will give you the larger one, the tall, tall and thin, and the, large, the little one as well. Now, you can get them individually, for instance, or you can shop on the website. You can see exactly everything that we have got there. Uh, now, we have got the memory box, which is very popular at the minute as well, the one that we just hinted at. Uh, there you have it, £16.99 is the price for that. Now, this will be the focus at 10 a.m., so make sure that you tune in at 10 a.m. for that. Now, of course, it has got the beautiful elements in there. Now, we have got also Archetype on its own for you. It's always a popular one. Now, what, what it is the archetype? It's a bookbinder's traditional it's tape. A pro professional cloth bookbinding tape. So it's, it's acid free. It's designed to last. It doesn't split. It doesn't tear. The adhesive is very, very strong. Oh, it's 9.99 is the price. You have got different options. So for you, you can go for dark blue, dark red, dark green, uh, and black. So uh, whichever color you go for, you are gonna get uh, the the two different widths. So it's, uh, 9.99 is the price. And 913.970 is your item number. We have got also the journal web uh, words. Uh, so you can see them here. MDF precision cut. You have got all the kind of wedding day party. So kind of the, all the memories that you want to keep the pictures of they are all perfectly cut and what I love about this ones is they have been designed so it's one MDF piece so it's not like every, each word so you don't have to fiddle around with the different letters mm -hmm. 1199 for those ones 895 197 is your item number we also have got Christmas words for your next uh, which are again precision cut MDF all those beautiful words uh, again made so each individual word is one single uh, MDF piece so you don't have fiddling uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence even something like New Year's Eve day it's a one single yes but if you want to cut into it you can do with a craft knife so oh, you can perfect. you can alter it. it doesn't have to be straight yeah. along you can have it angled perfect what are you going to show okay us? well I'm just going to flip through this quickly just to show you um, how some of the dies work because it's easier to see yeah. in a page okay so this is actually our monster book album which um, will be coming soon and we are actually going to be doing a workshop on this oh, so probably. keep an eye on our if you're in our Facebook group yeah. keep an eye there and um, so it's just really to talk you through yeah. So these here are the little dumbbell and swivel, and they just open like that. So we'll continue through. That's just oh, a plain page. Lovely. So on here, yeah. it's difficult because I've got a frame. These are your photo frames yes. here, and, and the they, mats fit in perfectly. And I love how you can put four of them into yeah. one page. But look, you can take them out. 
Okay. So no glue needed. No glue needed, but also, theoretically, you've got a full page of patterned paper that's not been damaged. So for, perfect for your graphic 45s yeah. or chow yeah. But also, yeah. can I, sorry to interrupt, I know a lot of people don't like to put their journaling on display. No. So behind the picture. That's right. You could write. Yeah. Yeah, so it's secret to you, but you know, you've, exactly. you've got the memories there. Exactly. So here we've got the large walrus flip flap, which opens up. Yeah. And then here, this is the um, dumbbell again. Yeah. But I've put a different top on, so it looks a bit bigger. Yeah. Keep going through. Here is the swivel die. So that just swivels open like that. And again, you've got your photo mats. These are so versatile. <gasps> I love uh, what have I got in here? Of course, here? because it's three by four, you said, right? Yes. So yeah. that's one of the standard pay sizes yes. of paper, uh, 12 by 12, so that they subdivide yes. their papers. Yeah. Yeah. So perfect for And that. then you've got your three by two, so perfect for your selfies yeah. and your sprockets and things yeah. like that. Uh, this little pocket here is actually made from the mini flip flap, so I just chopped the hinge, I chopped into it with the hinge, and then that's the mat on top. And on here, this is the other flip flap, so we've just done an open out card. Yeah. Uh -huh. And again, you can see you've got all the little photo mats there. We tried to do it this time, so they fitted in, um, so it allowed for smaller, yeah. smaller pages. By the pages. way, can I mention as well, the magnets are, are, if you want to get extra magnets, when you check out your baskets, you can add free add-on, uh, free delivery add-on. So, uh, so then you, I would yeah. stock up on that. End of call. Yeah. End of call, yeah. yeah. I think we're doing 50, aren't we, for... Yeah. Eight ninety nine. So um, that we are going to check them. Yeah. yeah. So that's that there, and then we okay. just keep going through. Okay. So here again. So this is the dumbbell again. Yeah. But this time I've made it into a swivel. Yeah. Okay. And then that's <gasps> just opening there, and that opens there. Um, if we get a chance in the next hour, what well, we will do, we'll show Heather's because Heather's used them in okay. different ways. Okay. So that's the flip flaps there, and little place photo here. That's some of our album. Yeah text stamps this one here I don't think there's a die in here that one just opens down and then here at the end I've also used the dumbbell to make a little lift up handle yeah that way okay yes. so they're very versatile you can do and we've only scratched the surface there's loads you can do and with them you know I'll say something as well we with papers like this, of course, it coordinates, but it could be, it, it looks amazing from start to finish. But because you're just talking about the smaller sizes, like mats and layers, you could be using the scraps of paper. You could, yeah. Definitely. Well, the scraps, uh, now, um, the, the mega bundle, a quarter of the stock has already gone. Please do check out your baskets. It's, we are very, very, very busy. Also, I need to mention, you know those neodymium? Neodymiums. You neodymium. The, yeah. Neodymium. Well, the, 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 magnets. the magnets. The magnets. <laughs> when you go to check out, you put, you know, you put the mega bundle in. They say, how about so free delivery add-on? So for eight ninety nine, you are getting fifty. You don't get any. You don't have to pay extra postage for that. You you also can go for the archetype in black if you wanted to. I strongly recommend to add both of them because they are going to be fabulous for you, especially if you're not a Freedom member, then you are not PN, PMP in them as well. I just wanted to mention that. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, that's fine. Okay, so um, just going to show you the reason why, one of the reasons why we've done the clever strip. Okay, so this is a traditional album without the clever strip in. You can see the pages here. Okay, now as I turn them, Okay, they're not laying as flat yeah. as they could. Okay, this one has the clever strip in. Louise has done this album and it's beautiful. Okay, you can see <gasps> that they're I laying see the, flat. Yeah. Yep. So there's the clever strip. That's so the clever strip in. So I'm going to show you that now. And you okay. can see here, look, she's used the all the different dies, little flip flaps. Yeah. All sorts of it's things. It's gorgeous. And I love the way that is. Now, your dice are so clever. They are just such a... We do try and think about it because we're crafters and um, you think what, what... You want people to be able to do it, so it needs to be easy for people to use, yeah. but it's got to work. And that's why we do have, you know, we have, we've had one die that's, I think it's on its fourth prototype now, no. but they have to work properly because Absolutely. if they don't work, what's the point? Absolutely. It just drives Absolutely. you mad. Okay, so... This is our clever strip here, okay, and it's literally a strip of metal, yeah. but it has the score lines in. So it's 12 inches long, so it will go, it will go through 
any of your die cutting machines, but obviously mm -hmm. it will still go through with a short plate as well. But you can, if you've only got a short plate, just put one bit through and then keep it stuck down and then run it through. So I'll just show you how it runs through. And also, these are, so the fact that this die will go through uh, a smaller, not a smaller, but a, a narrower, a narrow, yeah. narrow machine, that, that's also quite important, I think. Yeah, okay. Now, you can emboss these if you want, yeah. but I'm just going to tear that off so you can yeah. see. Obviously, you'd cut across there, but if you can see... They already come embossed, yeah. That's it, you can see. Yep. Yep. You can see we the can score see lines okay. there. And okay. if with the bright lights, we can see it yeah. definitely is. Okay. So I have got a piece I cut earlier. Yeah. Okay. So now what I find easiest to do is I find it easier just to ge very gently yeah. just bend the folds of my hand. That's the central fold there. Yeah. So I'm going to take my multi-purpose Teflon tool, which I, I love. love. And um, we have got more on the website. Oh, yeah, brilliant. we'll put them on for you. Brilliant. Because I know Karen loves using them yeah. as well. I well, Leone loves them. I uh, like. Well, let's be honest. I ask for a second set. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I use them all. They the are time. good though. Yeah. And when you're scoring, start from the middle and work out. Turn it. Start from the middle and work out, because otherwise you might go skew with. So then you've got this fold here. So you're just going to bend that, just very lightly again. Yeah. Teflon turn also gives you the, the no, like it doesn't give any marks, isn't it? No, if, it, if it's dark card, it doesn't leave a shiny mark. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. I use it also for um, paints and yeah. things like that, the other end. You don't mm -hmm. use it for cleaning the oven, do you? I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, cleaning the oven. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Cooking, what's that? <laughs> okay, okay, right. So, and you can see with, because I'm using this tool, you get a really sharp, crisp, but all the, um, all the spaces are exactly the same yeah. because it's precision cut. So what we're going to do now is just stick this uh, in the middle here. Yeah. Okay. And we will be putting um, YouTube videos on of how to use all our dies and things like that. It will be probably at the end of next week. I would think we've done that, won't it, Kay? So. And there will be tutorials on, on the brand new dies. Yes, and... yeah, all of that, yeah. Okay, so that's like that. Mm -hmm. You can see that's really crisp. Yeah. Look at the finish on that, it's lovely. Okay, so then we're going to put some double-sided tape on both sides. You need a strong double-sided tape, so don't use finger lift tape because that's not strong enough. So this is our 3 8 of an inch okay. um, red line tape. But as long as it's a strong double-sided tape, that's fine. So I'm doing either side of the mounting fold that I stuck together. Okay. And I'm sticking it on, but I don't want to go over the score line. Why not? Because it will show. Okay, so right, burnish. And there's a poor lady in our Facebook group who says she always hears my voice in her head going, burnish, burnish. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, actually, it makes so much sense, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's that there. And then I'm going to snip each corner, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. The mega and bundle, like is, that. of course, includes the, uh, be, the amazing, uh, well, I call it a spine, but it's, it's actually a um, strip. There it is. Yeah. Uh, so if you can, if you clever strip, if you want it, uh, the mega bundle is a third of the stock has already gone. So check out your baskets. Okay, so now you've, this is your pocket page that you've made already. A traditional pocket page now traditionally that would slot you would have had those corners trimmed yeah. and you would have slotted that onto there uh, yeah like that I've done it in cream so you can see a bit easier so when you make your spine up to use your flex we call it a flexi hinge okay, yeah okay make sure you do not normally we cut those um, corners okay but yeah. we're not going to do that so I'm just going to put a bit of tape on each one you can do it with glue you may find it easier with tape, so we'll just put tape on. Again, not down to the score line because you don't want that to show. If, by the way, a red liner tape, also we have got a, um, a seven day saver, saver and it comes in a lovely top as well. 9.99 is the price and you are getting, I believe it's, uh, oh, is it, uh, I don't forget. You get several of 
12 reels in total. You are getting one of the 12 male, uh, to one of the nine, and then six of the six, and four of the three. I think the one that you're using is, is it kind of the nine mil? I this, no, this is ours. Oh, it's that's specially right. okay. cut for three right. eighths of an inch. Yeah. All oh, right. So, but I don't think we've got any on the website. All right. So, okay. Yeah. But uh, nine, nine mil will be fine. Just don't go in the um, perfect. Yeah. In the end. Okay, right. So that's my spine ready there. So here's my pocket page. So what you're going to do is you're going to peel off. Um, if you find it difficult sticking things yeah. with double sided tape, put a bit of glue on first so you've got a bit of wiggle okay. room. Okay, and you're going to slot the first one into there, up to the edge of the page. Move it up there as well. Okay, and that one's so now you're going to run. Burn. Just burnish it there. Burnish, burnish. Burnish, burnish, okay. burnish. Fold that one back. Burnish again. Okay. And then you're going to. What you should have done is done rabbits here so you've got a little bit of tape sticking out. Okay. So that's the other one. Okay. Bend that back. Okay. So that's your the beginning of your hinge. Now, what you do now is decorate your page. Yep. I, we always recommend decorating your pages before you put them in your album, but you do not put any decorative paper on this strip. Okay. okay. So when you come to put them in your album, you will have double-sided tape on each side yeah. of your spine hinges. Okay. Your pages, if, especially if you've got a lot of stuff on them, will be quite chunky. So what you need to do is manipulate your hinge, yep. bend it down like that, and also bend it that way, okay? But do it gently with your hand. Yep. Don't forget, just warm the cardstock up and give it time, okay? And then you're going to line it up. So this one I've actually got lined with some of our red architate that's... Gorgeous red, yeah. right away. So I'm going to take... Yep. Where's my pokey tool? That's it. Take the tape off here, okay? And then again, if you're worried about it, um, yep. just put some glue on. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to line it up. Yeah. Can you see okay? Just starting to line it up. So it's resting on there. It's level at each end. That's it. Okay. Just burnish that lightly. And then you're going to pull this one off. Okay. okay. Lift that up. Yeah. Right, okay. So now you know... Now you know that's straight and you're happy with that. So just... That is that. genius, though. Okay. And that's it, like that. But I need to burnish my tape more because it's sticking, not sticking. Okay, so you just keep going like that. Go back this way. And then once you've done that, then you can bend your pages like that. And this, that's how... Oh, I think I threw it on the floor. Wait, wait, Maggie, we are halfway through the show. Okay, right. Well, I finished now. <laughs> <so. laughs> perfect timing. Of course, because so Kay has it. got Kay has Yeah, got Kay needs demo, to show you so, the things, yeah, but I perfect. really wanted to get that concept across yeah. because it makes such a difference to your it albums. It is an absolute a genius. Now, this is the thing with Maggie and Kay. They kind of come up, they are crafters. They know what they want to do. And not only they are crafters, I, I have known, actually, I'm going to say, I have known the reputation of Maggie. I have, you know, I remember Leonie one time trying to, you know, put in a, a, a album by Maggie, and she's like, it's amazing the precision. It's amazing how perfect everything is how attention to detail and this is what they do and bring you to to you and if you want to have those extraordinary results you have to have extraordinary tools and concepts and this is what they develop for you now you have got the mega bundle here you're getting six die sets so you're getting 26 dice in total you have got if you go for the mega bundle you have got a 10 pound saving if you are not a freedom member if you are a freedom member then you are getting all these beautiful uh, dice for eight, 80 pounds and 95 pence which means that you have got 18 pounds and 99 Paints to set saving, and you can spread the cost as well in two interest free payments of 40 pounds and 48 pence. You do not pay PMP either. Is the clever concepts is the fact that you have got now the clever strip die play, which automatically, as a crafter, you think of so many different options. Look at the length of it, it is a, you know, you are gonna have so many options of cutting it at any one length if you want it nine inches, no problem, 10 inches, no problem. 
but look at that it also has got you are also going to get the clever closures the dumbbell and the swivel that i said this one is the one that kind of creates like a tag but it's also like the ones that you can swivel so it closures it but also it kind of is decorative how they have done it so you have got a little recess so you have got a perfect position for your magnets as well the way that if you I don't think you can see them but this has been like there has got a kind of a scoring lines across it so of course the die will bring you that so of course that means that you have got that flexibility as well is that attention to detail that you want if you want extraordinary projects to end up with extraordinary projects you need clever concepts that they have been designed perfectly to work with like for instance you also are getting the mini the mini mandarin and Mexican flip-flop die set that coordinates perfectly with other dies from the range from Maggie's and K, which means that you everything will look so perfectly put together. I love the curve photo slot die set. Now you are also getting the die that kind of cuts this. You are getting the perfect corners around this in here. So like Kay was explaining, if you have got beautiful papers, you can just cut them and then die cut the corners, and you have got you don't have to do more much to them, but you then of course the beautiful pages are in there also you are getting in the mega bundle the large walrus flip-flop die set which is that one and then the Victorian one which is one of my favorites look at that beautiful remember that you are getting the one that has the aperture or the flap and then the mat as well all of that is the mega bundle now they are brand new today here at Hochanda and 40% of the stock has already gone and we are very busy please do check out your baskets 845-923 is your item number then I'm gonna come down oh, I hate it it's just so nice to be so tall uh, but then I go back to my pocket size anyway we have got here the beautiful album the Christmas album here collection now you are getting two paper pads which are a TV exclusive from uh, you know for the beautiful craft consortium Corson Corson well that I know I cannot pronounce it consortium Oh, what happened there? Like, I can't pronounce it usually. Um, anyway, there we have got the beautiful paper. I blame everything on being very early. Uh, there you have got the beautiful papers in here. You can see double-sided, so you are getting uh, up to three of each. So some of them you might get two. You are getting the beautiful, let's find the uh, fussy cutting elements in here. Where are they? Here, there. Uh, look at gorgeous. So you could fussy cut them, decorate them. And of course, look at these ones, like these arch ones. Can you imagine them across some beautiful pictures? wintry scenes you know of beautiful quintessentially British um, villages I think it's gonna be a stunning you also of course are getting the Christmas MDF words precision cut and remember you can see how all the letters from one word are coming in one single item so you can see there here Christmas Day even so it means that you just pop it out paint it it's not federally you don't have to think oh how it does it kind of coordinate then we have got, of course, the solid paper pad. Now, the solid paper pad, it's to me, I know it sounds ridiculous to say it, but that is one of the main reasons I will go for this. Remember, it's a TV exclusive, um, these, these paper pads from Craft Consortium. Again, Consortium. Uh, they uh, well, kind of say quickly so nobody will understand that I kind of not pronounce it. Uh, but you can see the beautiful, look at this blue. Isn't that the most beautiful blue? It's like an ultramarine blue. It's just beautiful, bright, and look at then the golden tones as well. This is an all year round paper pad that will like cut beautifully, but of course you are getting all the elements to create the base, the album. Now this is the self finished size, so it's a nine by nine. Uh, the and of course if you wanted to with this pair pattern and papers you will have leftovers from the 9 by 9 to create the smaller version which is also available but separately uh, or even 
let me show you if you want to go and decorate one of these boxes which we also have got on the show and it will be the focus at 10 a.m. for the show but you can see it here you can get the box as well now but you will have enough papers to decorate that this is why it's such a bumper pack you are getting the magnets you are tape of course the gray board as well 30% of the stock has already gone and this bundle once it's gone it's gone so please do check out your baskets for it 54 pounds and 99 pence is the price five eight four five two nine is your item number very busy as well for our next kit which is uh, half of the stock has already gone it features ciao bella papers but also uh, i just love I just love to say ciao bella I that I can pronounce and I can pronounce it properly the, the rest of the words no uh, uh, now you have got the gorgeous papers now what we have got oh look it's like reminds us of uh, of um for director here uh then you can see here look i think we, oh i love those now what we have got in here is beautiful ciao bella papers inspired by the movies and so on but what you are also getting and this is what i think is phenomenal is you're getting the mdf that they have got exclusive the, you know they, they have got the permission from ciao bella to create the perfect mdf so the fussy cat uh, uh, sheet in here will match perfectly these shapes in here so you can do things like this so you can decorate it like that so you kind of just fussy cut it layer on top and you have got that dimension and in here again we have got this is why it's good to invest in 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 cool cards crafts because everything that you have got like the see the swivel uh, kind of beautiful um, die in here has been used the photos have been used and everything coordinates even with the kind of more masculine theme of papers you can see them obviously you are not gonna do it back to front in the middle of the air trying to show you everything it's not the most um easy as elegant i mean my my director telling me that i'm not elegant thank you molly i appreciate that uh um anyway so there if you want it uh you can have it uh seven six six five eight one is your item number you have flexible but be quick because half the stock has already gone you have got the archetype as well you have got the magnets and of course those all important instructions everything that you need to make the uh nine by nine and um, which is the finest size that would be it uh and then you would have probably leftovers if you are smart about how you use your elements right and now we have got also the storage for our for, for dice so we have got the storage with a twist and now also i need to remember if any orders i think still we are the, the free gift with purchase is one per customer and until socks last so well socks last so please do show, make sure that to uh, check out those baskets and it's that little i love the cat mdf anyway we have got the storage with a twist here which I have got the small and large folders. I absolutely adore this system because you have got MDF uh, elements in here, precision cut. You have got the really strong uh, magnets as well, self adhesive. You have got the archetype, so you can create your own uh, perfectly kind of a pyramidal uh, uh, storage that kind of completely falls flat. So it doesn't take much storage at all. But the most important thing is that when you are working, and you can see how strong the magnets are because I'm really struggling to open in them so that's perfect so you when you are working you can have them in the um, under in your desk whether vertically or horizontally and it kind of gives you the perfect storage ability and ritual you are getting the large which is the one that I'm holding so you can see that clever strip is in here and fits perfectly and you have got the small one which is power version pocket size which is perf absolutely perfect to have all the time by uh, on the your desk either vertically or horizontal so you are getting both of them it works exactly the same but obviously the different sizes uh, 24 pounds and 98 98 pence is a price you have got a five pound saving if you wanted to go out for individuals you can you can have an extra a, small, a larger one or a small one however of course the saving is when you go for both of them 057176 is your item number and let's have a quick look at the seven day savers 
because there is four days left for them. We have had so, uh, already sellouts on those ones, so be sure to check them out. If you wanted to try uh, with the um, red liner type, there is that one. It's incredibly busy. It did sell out early on. Uh, we Well, early on, on Sunday. Uh, so it's back on extended delivery. The 1st of the September is when you can get them yours. It is really nice. Oh, I'm going to show you because it comes in, in a fabulous, I'm sorry, I have to tell you that it comes in a little tub. So it's just because of that, I just think it's just like fabulous. And there you have the contents and you can see you're getting, I think, four of the three, six of the six and one of the nine and one of the 12 now. Right, and the details are on the screen. Anyway, now we have had a switcheroo and then we have got Kate. Hello. Hello. Switcheroo. Can you, can, can you say that? Uh, what? Switch, 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 yeah. Switch, yeah, switch your room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, I'll just see why not. All right, Sorry. good. No. <laughs> okay. Right. So when, I'm going to show you how to put together the large um, die storage. Fabulous. I'm using uh, a technique with the Architape. Fabulous. And it's the same one you'd use for the album. Yeah. So it's the same technique. So. And, and the Architape will come with each of those yes, kits, but you can yeah. buy separately. Yeah, right. Yeah, it comes separately. So this is the. Um, oh, sorry. <gasps> I didn't, oh! mean to do I didn't mean to do that. I, Maggie always does it, and I, I had. Sorry, that was a. Yeah. But anyway, that's a, a, sneak that's a storage. Sorry, but I didn't mean to do that. It's a sneak peek. I, I, I forgot it was in good. there. Maggie, Maggie does it most of the time, and I, and I don't tend to do it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oops. I right, love that's that. the reason why we've got the large, because it's got yeah. more dyes coming out. This is what I love about live TV. Well, well, Maggie, yeah, she teased me yesterday, and yeah. I thought, well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> she does it, no, I don't. So, I've got the boards. You get this instructions of the layout strip in yep. each one so your tape i measured out on the thin tape on the 30 yep. meter uh, millimeter tape which is the thinner one is you go around on one of the large ones yep. three quarters all, all the way around so on three sides yep. so with the tape you do this and if you're doing it for your album you'll do, yep. be doing this with the gray board okay. of one of your covers and I've actually measured that properly and it's a fit. So you want it so it's either flush or slightly less than at the front here. That will become apparent in a minute. Okay. So then gently just pinch in the corner so you get a square corner. There. Don't do it too much. It's just stick together. You just want it so you can see the corner. Absolutely. Okay. And then I'm going to get my scissors. We can do it with a knife. And what you're going to do, you're going to cut about 45 degree angle, okay. but not quite to the corner. Right. Okay, can I, that's it, I'm going to turn that around. I'll just do the other one. How much, do you, do you think it's about a millimetre? Yeah, body? it's just a little, it's like a yeah. little tab, that, tab about yeah. that, okay? So you, just, you don't want to cut through, then you want to do the other side as well. The first one is more difficult because you can't lay it down flat. Mm. So I'll just cut this one and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so that's cut like that. Yep. Okay, so then what I do then, I'll pull these bits out so they don't stick. And then I pull this down. You can trim these ends if you want to. I'm not going to do it today, but you can trim those ends if you want to. And I'm going to pull this with a little bit of tension yep. onto the MDF. Like yep. that. So you get your little corner like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Yeah. I'll do it with a little bit of tension. So you cut, so it's... It does that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then I'm going to put this flat down and then using my Teflon tool and I'm just going to stick yeah. that up like that. And then I'll do the same for the other side. And yeah. Yeah. We have about 10 minutes left in the show. Just going to okay. give you a tool. Right. So you end up with that. Yeah. I'll, do, I'll burnish it properly in a minute and then you do exactly the same for the other side. So just pinch your corners in yeah. so you can see where they are and then just cut that that's such a tiny top tip but it's just such a perfect you know this it, is why you you are such an amazing crafters both of you because they, you teach us how to create it perfectly yeah, not how to just create it but to create it perfectly Right, the other thing you need to make sure you've got your scissors are nice and clean, <laughs> which oh, would well. be helpful. The other thing is make sure you, because these are non-stick, but I haven't actually cleaned them. Yeah. So, so I'll just, just snap those quickly. So I haven't made the mess of this one at the yeah. front, but never mind, we'll, we'll, we'll live with it. I... It'll always be neater. So this, now I can put it flat. doesn't make life yeah. easier. So I'll pull that across and push that In. down. That's 
So it's not going to be terribly neat corner because I've missed, I messed that up. But so pull, that, yeah. pull that down. And at this point, I can just fold this over with my fingers. So it's nice and flat. And it's obviously, then I'll just go around and quickly burnish it. I was saying that this, this is why I love my job. I have been doing things like this for ages, but I had never thought about doing the cuts like that. And oh. that it makes so much sense, and oh, it looks right. so neat. It, it, yes, I like it, because it, it, it makes it a nice, neat corner. It does. It's a perfect corner. So it's simple. Even, even the one I messed up, it looks nice and neat. Yeah. So, that's, that. so you do that on for this one. If you're doing an album, you'll do two albums, yep. and you'll do your spine yeah. top and bottom so Pardon. I've done the, these top and bottom yeah. and then the flap you do three quarters around yeah. as well so I've already done that so when you lay it out you want half an inch gap so I tend to lay them out like that so I want half an inch gap here three quarters of an inch gap here and one inch gap here and because I always forget something and I've managed to forget half my spaces so what I've got instead is my five eighths, so I'll do oh, five yeah. eighths, which is fine. I, t I don't, I don't find a that's a problem at all. So, so you peel off the wider one, and the wider one will go around. You want to go around three times, yeah. and it, and it that overlaps by about a centimeter. Okay. And there is enough tape to do that. So don't okay. make sure make sure that you have enough yeah. to cut it yeah. equally three times. Yeah. There isn't that much leeway, but there yeah. is enough to to overlap it. So you want a bit at the top and then you tear off a bit of the backing and put okay. it there so you tear off a bit of packing and put it there. there and then your spacers which are genius again so, so you can use it for these and this you'll be doing exactly the same if you're doing an album yeah so this will be your cover and this will be your spine but this is second leaf of the um, die storage and you push that down lift it up take those out of the way and then, and then I'll do a little bit of tension and bring that down. Take that off. And peel that one off. Okay. Oops. Sticking to itself. It's really sticky stuff. Bring that across. And take that a bit off. And then I'll just lift it up with a little bit of tension. And then a little bit of burnishing. Ah. And that's your first one. We did the same again the second time round. And this one is going to be three quarters of an uh, inch. And you have got the spaces for that. Yes, as I've well. got spaces for this one. Okay. I haven't got spaces for the one inch, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do for that as okay. well. So you just put a bit of um, backing yeah. there, backing at the bottom, and so then you've got your three that quarters. That sort of makes it easier for somewhere. the spacer to release. And there's yeah. Yes, it does, because it, otherwise it does tend to stick to it. Yeah. So you, you just want to put the pressure there. You don't want to stick it down to here. You just want to literally, it's just literally a spacer. And then you put your next one in. Okay. And because you've got those spacers in there, it's going to be straight across here and equal distance. Pull that up. You know, the people are putting the architect, uh, you know, the extras uh, on their baskets, especially the black and the navy. It's so useful. Uh, the blue. Yeah. Uh, they are now limited stock. If you wanted to go for black or uh, the dark blue, please do check out your baskets now. 9.99, and it gives you two meters of the 50 mil and three meters of the 30 mil. I think that's correct. Uh, anyway, so you have got their their details on the screen. Right. So I've gone. So because this is an inch one, this is a bigger, bigger one, I've just gone a little bit in yeah. from there. And because I forgot my inch one, every single one of our clever tools, ah. that bit is half an inch. Right. So all I've done is stuck those two. No, 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 that's an inch. Yeah. It's, that's as simple as that. I've just done that. Yeah. So, we well, have got them on the website, the spacers. We, yes, web, they are on the website. Um, we put them, we, yeah. we did make sure we have got enough, so they are on the website. Okay. Make that a bit bigger. Another thing I tend to do is put a little strip, because it's a wider one, I put a little bit of strip there, a little bit of strip yeah. there, that just helps it not sticking. Yeah. So that will go like okay. that, and okay. that will go like that. So I now know that's going to be an inch. Well, I'll just top and bump, so excuse me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. That's that's usually it's me that is um, that's losing it. things and dropping things. And then just push that in. 
so I now know that is going to be straight. Take that out. And just move all that out and then just exactly the same again. A little bit of tension, just like that. Um, do that. And you can see you've got enough to cover a little bit by about half, about a centimetre. So you yep. don't want too much. And then again, do a quick burnish. And then that is yours. Thing. How much time have I got left? Uh, we have three minutes. Okay, fine. I'll, what we do now is that give it a good burnish. Burnish, burnish, burnish. And burnish again. Yeah. <laughs> so if I don't, because Maggie's watching. If yeah, I don't, exactly. I'll, go, I'll just get into trouble. And no, but it's, it's this, <laughs> like if you get into the habit of doing things properly, it, be, it becomes just automatic muscle it, it, memory. You just, do, you just do it. Exactly. It's like muscle memory. You, you just do it. Yes. Okay, and then okay. that. Folds like that. Yeah. So in your kit, you get two and a half sheets of our really strong magnets. Yeah, it's incredibly strong. It is really strong magnets, and think, they, yeah. they're self adhesive, so they're easy peasy. And then you just put those on there. We have got alignment tools yeah. if you want to do it, but I tend to just do it by eye. Okay. And that is it, stuck. And there's okay. the glue, the adhesive is really, really strong. So Perfect. That goes on that one. It's really easy to put together, and also what I love is that it looks good. You can decorate it with your paper, yeah. and it's so useful. Yeah, I, just, um, I, yes, uh, I was say. I love this size. I have to say because it's. I always struggle when I'm die cutting with where do you put the dies that you are using, and you usually have a set that you have got lots of different pieces, yeah. and you have to reuse yeah. it. Yeah. So th now what I do now is I've got three on one side because I know I'm going to fold it like that. Yeah. So now no, that side there and that side there are going to have papers. So it's me. This one here that needs the um, yeah. uh, the uh, magnetic sheet on. Yeah. So I just do that for peace of mind, and then that goes on like. Oops. Like that. And then this piece here, you have a half piece left over. So to cover both sides of the strip, so it folds over is you need it about 40 centimeters yeah so that's that one there so what i will do just to show that it's easy to cut with a guillotine yeah. is just measure it up to 40 centimeters okay we have got about a minute okay, okay i haven't got time to decorate it but never mind <laughs> <laughs> so just take that off okay oops and then that will go like that okay yeah and that is your die done and if you want to decorate it and then you just put paper just put, put paste cut the piece of paper off i've got some dye, and then just that's from the craft consortium that's, the, that's from the yeah yep. because it's uh, so, so pretty Option, oh, so oh, the, really nice. the christmas one yeah i've cut out oh, more money doesn't it right and i've have got time to do another one oh, i've got to do a strip yeah, we have straight. got seconds to go, but still, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you have got, yeah, you have got a still. <laughs> seconds after this the break, of course, thing. Karen and Fiona are, are uh, on the show, waiting in the wings. And they're, uh, oh. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 but that's how strong they are. Yeah, Perfect. that's it. Because yeah, the dogs yeah. aren't going to go anywhere. Thank so. you so much, Kay. That's Thank you so much, Maggie. <laughs> uh, remember, they're going to be back at 10 o'clock where the, the focus will be uh, the gorgeous uh, box in here. So just stay tuned. Also, after the break, Karen mm. is here with her one day special. Now, I need to tell you that the Mega Bundle, half the stock has already gone. So please do check out your baskets. I remember those albums as well while the stocks last as well. Indeed, the one day is special. The Award Science of the Season is at 8, then at 9, Wonderful Weaving with Gina B. I love her stuff. And then later at 10, Cool Cats Crafts again. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. 
I'm here on a channel because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line, and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Very good morning to you. It's lovely to be here. And I'm so excited because I was with this gorgeous lady last week and she was so thrilled to be launching her brand new collection. It's the lovely Karen. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fantastic. And I'm so thrilled because I, I hadn't realised on the days that I was actually going to be with you to I present know, your collection. Because it's, it's all this one I'm in. So tell me, what gave you the inspiration to design this collection then, Karen? Well, uh, well Stuart approached me and just said uh, we, we, we're going to be doing an, an ODS every, every month. Yeah. And would you like to design some? Okay. So he asked to have a look at a few of my doodles and stuff like that. And he gave me, he says, 
this is the theme that I want. Right. So I went away and I just drew and thought of some ideas and, and designs that I'd like to use into um, what I'd like to do with the dye. Yeah, and where's that inspiration come from in, in terms of, because I know this is a specific seasons as such, isn't it? It's, it's what he asked, Christmas, he, asked, yeah. he asked it for yeah. predominantly Christmas, but I wanted it to go a little bit further, so I popped some um, stars into it and just some gifts which can take it a little bit further yeah there's a lot of doodles on the stamps where you can be using them all year round absolutely and that's what's yeah. so brilliant about the versatility of the yes. collection so let's yes. introduce you to this collection this is the one day special and it comprises of 44 phenomenal dies i mean just look at these this first one i'm i'm, I'm absolutely besotted with it now we have got some stamps coming up which will correspond with certain elements of the dies but you freed it up for us so so we're not um what's the word uh Thank you, Moles. We're not restricted to having to, to, to use set one with set two, isn't yes. it? Yeah. yeah, they're independent as well as being, they can work together, mm -hmm. but they're also independent as well. So I'll flag up which ones can work together. So this is our beautiful signs of the season. Here we've got our fantastic star, and I love this. It's like she like shooting fireworks there coming out, or it could be the top of a fairy's wand. It can Isn't be it the middle bit. So if you cut, if you don't do it from edge to edge, you can cut it as a as a uh, as a wand. Yeah. And we've got some fantastic embossing there, and then we've got our Christmas tree. And as you said, the presents could belie themselves to a birthday. You've got the stars. You've got bunting, which is always always fantastic. A uh, lovely bit of bauble going on there in candy canes. That is gorgeous. I think you're going to do a demonstration with this lovely tree on this set. I mean, 44 dice. Then we've got our fantastic baubles. Now, baubles, we've seen we've seen baubles, but these are really beautiful and ornate, they, Karen. They're really ornate and, and traditional. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly how I drew them. Not as not as neat and as, uh, as round as that, you know, but that's exactly <laughs> how I drew them. But there's also the star yeah. and there's the, the ribbon. Oh, and then the just... chain. Ah, oh, the, the chain. chain. Really, because you never get a chain in a bauble die. Yeah. You've got the no, tops of the dies. Uh, you've got the 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 the, the, the ribbon, the yeah. bow. But if you look, it's got a little line going down it. Yes, I do. So I'm one for three three dimensional. So and and when you get you usually get a a, a ribbon, yeah. you have to find somewhere or somehow to stick it. Yeah. That little bit goes down in where Straight all the creases in. are, ah, and fantastic. so it's, it's uh, it hangs into it and holds it. Devils in the detail yes, there. Yeah. I love a bit of dingle dangle with my baubles dangling. Yeah, and so last, they can be used on trees not, and everything. And then we've got this. I do adore this. This is this beautiful. I mean, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And then our snowflakes there that we can uh, have out of the other set of dies there absolutely gorgeous so we've got 44 dies in total big saving there as well 39 pounds 96 and uh yeah this is uh, the one day special over a third of the stock has gone for the one day special so please don't miss out and we've got that two flexi by payments of course to spread the cost there for 90 pounds 98 send one one five four three so remember the star remember the tree remember the stocking because i've got some fantastic stamps now that will tie yes. in with those yeah. said dies now i'm just going to mention the complete collection just because you might want to shop ahead and get the dies and get the stamps and get the stencils that I'm going to show you and get the MDF shapes as well. It is pretty phenomenal. It's a huge collection comprising of 44 dies, 56 stamps. I know. Two stencils and two large, can I say, MDF pages there as well. You've got a freedom discount on there of £14.49, £85.41. So if you want to shop ahead for that complete collection, as a lot of our buyers were last night, then please do. And we split that into three flexi buy payments for you of £28.47, 392736. Now, I'm very excited about the stamps. We've got um, uh, one item number, but we, we've got four options here for the stamps now i've got do you know what for me uh, it's, i'm going to say something very bizarre now but for me it's some of the little ones that perhaps you might not really uh notice on first glance yes. for instance this and it's in one of your cards here i that one there you see that jewel with a star you've got it on one of your cards at the front that's the one there how pretty sorry miles there can you see that there? How pretty, and that's using the stencil command, how pretty is that stamp? But it's continuous border. Oh, it's beautiful. So it fits and it rolls on and continuously border, borders through. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm starting possibly with one of the smaller. So let's start at the top with our star. Because <laughs> that's the star, is that my right, Karen? That fits in, it's like a mandala star, isn't it? It's with our like die, a if yes. you want it. Yeah, it fits in exactly with the die cut. Yeah. Um, <gasps> I would suggest 
cutting the die the die out first and then stamping but all uh, the the dies are embossed when you cut through them they deeply emboss yeah. at the same time so you don't have to do, run them through twice yeah but the die but the stamp matches that, that star part. in that first exactly yeah, where it's embossed. Special. Yeah. So I, I do. I know you're not supposed to have favourites, but I think this is my favourite. I love this little dingle dangle and stuff. I love the stars that she's. There's another card here. You've got on the front here. We'll see it as we go around. And you've done a whole background with these shooting stars. I love all these different stars because again, it could be for any occasion. <laughs> the backgrounds, yes. yes. Oh, There's love nothing them. there that says to Christmas. If you turn that dangling star up, upside down, Ooh, it's a wand. It's a wand. It's a brilliant yeah. wand. And then you could have the yeah. shooting stars coming out of it may all your wishes come true okay i mustn't obsess about the stars uh here's our next uh, what is that one called stars oh there we go uh, it's called stars brilliant uh what's our next one called then karen uh, i i don't know i never Borders. got it i never got yeah Borders. Borders. I've had, I've had i never up. got the 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 labels for them so okay, okay. you're not you, that's lovely you design them but you can never know what they are karen it's on a need to know only basis <laughs> yeah so you, you get when they, when they make them they'll, they'll send you the sample pack that they've had so you, never know what you don't know what they're called <laughs> oh, that's hilarious yeah oh bless you uh this is beautiful oh that's like a that's like a lace ribbon isn't it going there's, through there's three there there's, so yeah. if you look there's, there are three individual stamps down that oh, one they the, three? Oh, I see. it's the stitching oh, it's the wow. chain and then the 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 edge of the lace there oh, fantastic. so in that little shot there you've got seven different borders yeah. that all move on and they're from my doodles i doodle does because i do quite a lot of tangling love and those. they're part of my, my doodles fantastic and a lovely poinsettia there as well and our lovely holly leaf so there's our borders if we move down now we've got some great sentiments uh, in this one love the snow globe you don't often you don't often see a snow globe stamp there karen no 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 i just asked they they were not mine they're not mine i just said do oh. some sentiments do some sentiments the okay. design team of the, the I'd have lied. I'd have taken credit for this, uh, Kaz. I'd have taken total credit for it. No, no, not mine. But I love those. And even on the bottom, you've got a best wishes. You've got a just for you. You've got a lots of love. You've got one happy holidays. Yeah. Sometimes you buy a stamp set and it's a lot of American yeah, sayings. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I've got friends in America. I can put that on yeah. there and not, not offend them. Posting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a real nice set. I liked it. Love, and in, I love the special delivery one because again, that's such yes, a great generic yeah, stamp as well. Yeah, back of your envelope when you can yes. send your card, stick it on back of your envelope, and they've got to rip through it before they open the card. And last but not least, we have got a fantastic one there, the Christmas tree. Now this does correspond with uh, Karen's die as well. You've got the beautiful bunting there's our sock as well our Christmas stocking that corresponds with the die just to highlight that because the others are independent again beautiful presents there and that tree we are going to see in action I'm going to rattle on down the counter because I know we want to get to Karen and a lovely demonstration but each of those snaps are 999 609 672 you choose which of those you want um, of course, you get all of them in the complete collection. Big savings, massive freedom discount there of over £14. Let's introduce you to the stencils. Got loads of lovely, fantastic uh, samples here on the counter. You are getting both of these, and these, again, are beautiful. I'm gonna, I know I'm holding this upside down, but I quite like, I quite like the cascade of the large stars and the smaller stars then falling behind. Aren't, aren't they beautiful? That's really, really so, 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 so pretty. Um, gorgeous again the snowflakes again Christmas obviously but your stars for any occasion that on tissue paper you know for presents or when you wrap a bottle and you put in your tissue paper just stamp that on the tissue oh that would be beautiful we always get that white tissue paper don't you when you're wrapping something 9.99 and again uh, Karen's used that there to emboss with isn't that gorgeous and again there's our die from the first set so simple but a quick card to make really pretty and we've got those lovely embellishments on the show as well 9.99 for both of those 040121 of course you get all of this in the complete collection now remember i said to you mdf now these are big boards there's a lot going on here um you've got these baubles and you've got plain baubles there that you can embellish with your stamps um or or or, or uh, what's the word uh, oh, daub through your through your die because you can use those lovely dies couldn't use a kind of a stencil it's daub yeah. yeah that's the word yeah. i'm looking for so it's just escaped me this morning uh <laughs> <laughs> Leave me floundering there. Uh, no, it's okay. That's uh, that's me. I've just got like a speech this morning. Um, and then we've got a look at our, our lovely tree can stand up freestanding there. You've got all. Let me move that out of the way. You've got all those lovely hollies. You've got the little baubles again. Um, gorgeous cutouts there. The bunting. 
beautiful and the presents there we go and then all of those lovely stars so extra but so if you're thinking of 3d you're thinking of um your mixed media your plaques yeah they've got some gorgeous plaques here that karen has embellished again you can see that stencil there the die cut there we've got large bulb i mean you get your baubles anyway but these are just giving you ideas oh and i like these these are lovely as well because you can actually physically make a card and then just hang those on the card itself as a little present that's just some lovely MDF and the gilding wax, but you know, you can go to town with these in, in terms of your foiling and embellishments and have them actually on your tree. Yes, yeah, a little keepsake. Uh, 9.99, 9.47, for all of those two A4 sheets of 98 pieces. But the complete collection is what you are, are loving as well. So don't forget, you can get the one day special on its own. You can get the individual stamps. Uh, and of course you can go for the MDFs and stencils, of course you can, but a lot of you are loving the complete collection, £94.90. If you're a free club member, even bigger discount, got it on uh, three flexibuy payments there as well, 392736. Shop ahead for the lovely car, the embellishments and the gold and the silver pastes uh, that we've got on the show as well with Oakwood Archer and our lovely Karen. And uh, I'm going to... This is a bit of a why not deal, this complete collection, because when you start to add it up and the savings you can make by becoming a Freedom Club member, you're still garnering greater savings by spending the money to become a Freedom Club member because of the discount that it allows you on the complete collection, £14.49. £85.41, Very speedily, I'm going to mention the magnetic sheets because often we have the storage cases. Um... That just, uh, I was doing a little twirl there for you. Uh, <laughs> I was looking for magnetic sheets and storage cases. I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, you probably think, what's that woman doing? Uh, we can show you a picture. We've got the Oakwood Dye storage case with 10 magnetic sheets at £16.99. Uh, that's brilliant, isn't it? 10 sheets, and I've seen these before. They are absolutely fantastic, especially if you're buying Karen's fantastic dies today. 342830, and they're really strong reinforced pockets there as well down the side, so that when you're in your lever arch, it's not tearing or anything like that. Perfect for Karen's dies. So. I will bring mine on the next show. I've left They're it in somewhere. the green room. Yeah. I was told they were behind me. Somewhere. Yeah, I've left them in the green room, so I will do it later. Thank you, Karen. So, is this for me? Are you it is for one? you, darling. You take yeah. it away, yeah. Yep. Yeah. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick card. Um, I've got, uh, it's a three-dimensional card. I've got my black card stock, and I've put the uh, the outer die on, and then I've got some 100 quite heavy paper that I'm going to put the inner die on. And I'm not putting any pressure on, extra pressure on to my machine, but I'm going to put both of them through at the same time. So it's cutting a cardstock, the cardstock, the die is uh, cutting a cardstock and a paper at the same time. Let's see if I can get that through. I'm not very good at pushing it through. That's all right, that's what, that's what the machine does. <laughs> You can see that the die is cut out beautifully. You can then stamp on that if you wanted to do. I'm just going to undo this one, put that back on my magnetic strip. So these will go through most all of our cutting machines, will they? They'll your, go your through all there. cutting machines, yeah, every cutting machine. It's a, it's what you call a thin, uh, a thin die, so it'll go through all the cutting machines. Is there a specific um, sort of weightage of card we should be using, you know, if you say a thin die? Just right. checking in with you there, Karen. So the, the ones that are very delicate, mm -hmm. that have got these bits in, I've cut through 300 GSM wow. with sticky back onto it right. to put glitter on top. Uh -huh. However, I will say I've used the uh, metal shim yeah. to do that because okay. it, it, obviously you've got to go through um, sticky back paper. But it's it, the, the ones that are just an outline, mm -hmm. they, uh, they've, I've only put them through once. Great. But I'll never say that, oh yeah, they go through first time. It's like with any dye, yeah. but they do cut thick. Brilliant. So that's just popped out and that's that's your that's about 190 degree 90 degrees 190 yes <laughs> it's eight o'clock in the morning know, darling, I know. that's 190 I'm quite happy to have a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah i had to walk from the hotel this morning it's awful when you black when you don't know where you're going so i'm going to make this into a three-dimensional tree and what i'm doing is i'm measuring halfway now if you like if you want to I tend to use my uh, mat to do it. So I'm finding the point and exactly the centre. Do it on the scoreboard if you wish. 
but I'm going to just do it by a ruler. Quick tip, don't put your ruler down and score. Yeah. If you put your ruler there and put your ball tool on exactly the place where you want to score, move your ruler to it because then that gives you the perfect half. So if you've ever ever scored something and it's not scored exactly down half, it's because you put your ruler down half and put your ball tool on. Oh, cool. And it's a millimetre so you've got to cheat out. it, yes. yeah. So you put your ball tool down and then yes. your ruler to it. We've got and those on the show, actually. They're on the screen right now. Your ball yeah. tool and your quill and set there, 9 .99. And then use your ruler instead of trying to... I'll show yes. you when you're trying to do this. Yeah. And and sometimes it doesn't work. With a card, with a card stock and this, it is. But I'm finding a little bit at the top that's not working for me. And it's just not exactly half. Uh -huh. So I use my ruler. Lovely. Yes. I love your tree, Karen, because you've got the outer edge, then you've got the tree, but the tree itself has that, it's got like the furry, furriness of the tree, the zigzaggy, and I don't normally see that on the dyes. It's no, beautiful it's, it's to embossed. No, it's quite emboss. simplistic. Yeah. It's a simplistic tree, but it's also there, so if you start putting them back to back like I'm doing here, mm. you've got Christmas decorations as well. Beautiful, uh, but it's that, it's that embossing of the kind yeah. of. Um, it's almost like you can make that the snow on it or something. You could actually yeah, use you can draw that. onto it. You yeah, can do that anything embossing. that you want. So I'm going to glue these, but I'm going to quickly glue them and then just put them to one side to dry. But they'll not take long to dry, and they fit together perfectly. So uh, the way that I do a dimension tree or dimensional bauble is I will stick two together first rather than trying to manage all five in one go and then that's been drying and then I'll stick another one on there and not too much glue you don't want to over wet your, wet your cardstock and I'm not going to do it fully dimensional so that's there and then hold that just nicely so I'm doing it that way to hold it so that I can stick to it. My producer was just saying, wouldn't they make beautiful, like, little individual Christmas table settings for nameplates? Yes, yes. Because they stand up right in, in themselves yeah. with your tree. Yes. That'd be so, so that's lovely. That's there. And normally, when you're making a three-dimensional, you put that one to there. Right. But I'm not. I'm popping it a three-dimensional onto a card. Yeah. So I'm actually flattening it flat there. Yeah. Now that's just got to dry a little bit. Meanwhile, I've done the insides and I'm not even going to score these. I'm just going to put my ruler down the middle and fold it up. Can I just take this opportunity yes, very certainly. quickly, Karen, just to mention my hero, Walter Strong, and his red liner tape. Yes. In a bucket, I know, straight from Hollywood. Um, you know what I feel about Walther. Ah, oh, now you are loving the uh, uh, seven day saver. Now, I only mention it because it's all going to be paused, the current seven day savers, when we have the birthday launch. So, um, ye 6 pm tonight. So, the red liner tape in the bucket will be paused because other things are going to happen. So, 9 99 and in the set, that lovely Walther Strong bucket. You are getting the red liner, three, six, nine millimeter, and twelve millimeter, twelve um, reels in total, all in that lovely little bucket separated there. Nine ninety nine, twelve pounds saving. Three five nine, three one zero. Dispatched on the first of September now because it all sold out. You see, this is what happened. We love Walther. Don't miss out. Don't miss I was out. Watching the launch of that, that sold out. Is it? Yeah, it did. That's why now dispatches the first. Yeah, uh, Karen, because. Yeah. Uh, this would be good with your tree, wouldn't it? To, you know, for, yeah, definitely for for the construction. So I do I do do a lot of construction. So in there, I've got one. Uh, that's going to go there. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I've only got four trees cut, but never mind. Well, you'll you could not alternate, notice. couldn't you? Yeah, but yeah, you'll not notice when I've finished. <laughs> so just pop glue onto that one, and because it's paper, it's actually going in there. Now, when you make a three D, normally you you. You do the inside with paper because if you do it with card, it's not gonna, it's gonna be too thick. Yeah. But normally you don't get the inside to do with the three dimensional. You just get the, the outside one. Whereas on this, you've got uh, with the baubles as well. You mm -hmm. can do it on the inside and make it look really, really decorative instead of just a plain tree. Mm -hmm. Put your favourite papers in. Uh, do your jelly, je uh, your jelly rolls, your jelly jelly plates make your own papers, your own backgrounds, and then just pop them in. 
I'm doing it quite quickly. I know there's one missing and I do apologise. I must have left it on the side. <laughs> this is gone walkies. Gone oh, no, walkies. It's here. I, I can see it's right behind you there, Kelly. Oh, is it? Yeah, right, it's on wonderful. the floor. It's gone for a burden. So if you just take camera off me, I'll bend down and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Was, the camera's on the, the tree. Stop. The camera's on the tree. Oh, You're there's right. two down here, that's why. Yeah, you just turn them away. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? I told you I'd lost it. <laughs> It's early. I'm not early. Morning. Get this woman a coffee for crying out loud. I've had two this morning. Oh, that's why. Then you're ready. Yeah, and I've had to walk from hotel this morning. It's like <laughs> it, when it's dark and like you say, you don't know where you're going. Oh, it's that a bit was last turbid. night. That oh. was awful last night. Yeah. I just want to show everybody this finished sample of what Karen's doing here because again, it's just a different take with the blues. But here we've got the 3D tree, and that's using the stencil in the background. And as Karen said, some of her favourite papers there as well. Um, but this is where we're going with our lovely treat there in our design so now we need to do is now put the card together it's going to be a easel, an easel card I've got my finger the finger lifting tape on there try to try to prep up quick I like people to see what you're doing from start to finish because that's how you do it yourself isn't it and that's how you do it in, in your craft room okay you don't come turn up and you don't rock up in your craft room and everything's pre-taped or everything for you so that's the base of the card. I've got a 15 by 30 card scored it into a, a quarter and a half. So that's seven and a half, 15. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just put glue on the bottom of this part because that's going to be the, uh, the easel. That's going in there like that. Now once that's in there, I can bend that down and you get your easel. So they're drying while I just run this through the embossing mat. So I'm going to emboss this and have this as, as snow. Oh, as, lovely. Uh, what do you call them? Stars. Yes, the stars. The stars. And so I'm going to pop. It's a bit dirty from last night, but hey, oh. So we have big stars or little stars, or so we just go in it's the bit middle. Of both. A bit I like of the cascade, both. the fact that they go from big to small. They do, yeah. Just pop that through the machine, so you can see I'm just... When did I get it? And there we go. I'm not as dexterous as when I was younger. <laughs> He's like, ooh, get in! <laughs> get, in it. get in there! And then, there we go. Put it on wrong side round because I've now got it, so that it's you've got me right in there. However, we'll cover that up, <laughs> yeah, and then we'll just get a little bit of ink. Now, I'm not even going to do any ink, I'm just going to get the brush that I've used and show you that, oh no, we're not going to use that colour, wrong colour. But we'll just get your brush that, you, that I've used, and you can see on these brushes, it keeps its... I don't even have to use an ink no, pad. No, you haven't even got that. It's just what I've used ink, before, yeah. Yeah. But look at the stars coming up. Mind oh. the writing, we'll cover that up, don't worry. And we've got another mat. I'm going to stick a bit of glue just around the corners. And I like this glue because it's uh, it's quite quick, quick drying. Yes, we've got, got the glue on the show. Yeah. We get two pots there. And this is then going to yeah. go. Make sure I get the card the right way around. That's going to go in the centre of the card. I like a card. I either like a card to go from one side to the other, mm -hmm. or I like it to go straight to the centre. I'll pop that in there. And then this one, you can see where... I know it's there. Just make sure you crease it. I'm going to pop glue down there. I would normally spend more time popping this tree together. It's not going to be the best of trees. And the bits that you've not put your paper on, you pop into there. And that just needs to hold for a second. In your craft room, you don't do things as fast as this. And then we've just got a stopper to do. Now, we could put some more paper on the bottom to to cover that bit yeah. but we're not going to I'm not going to do that this time I'm just going to do a stamp what we're oh, going to do special delivery yes please yeah. yes special delivery love your stamps 
and then a stamp set. I put every I put everything in this drawer. That's why I can't find anything. Well, get those stamps up. <laughs> well, you've got uh, four chances uh, under the one um, item number, not chances, I should say, individual uh, items there. 609672, you choose from uh, the borders, the um, stars, the lovely Christmas tree, uh, all the sentiments there. But you do get all of those in the complete collection. Yeah, look at that. Look at that special delivery. Beautiful. It's come up beautifully. I've done it with a verse fine. Yeah. Uh, and I've Black made and it to, to green. And I'm just going to do it... Uh, by eye, you know, by scissors, you would normally. My dear, it's like a bit of uh, wonk on things. <laughs> there was, I nearly said the word that you're not allowed to say anymore. I'll have to ask you later what that is. Yeah, sure. yeah, there were great big debates on it. On the wonk, shall we call it on the wonk? Stick oh. it there. Apparently it can be uh, not politically correct. And just one more bit, near enough, bit of tape, one on the back, and then you've got an easel three-dimensional card, just there. Beautiful, lovely, and then you've got your star, because I know on our one over here, we used our star, didn't we? Have you got a little star die there for the top, haven't you, as well? You could possibly for the top did of the tree. Put, did I put uh, a star? Did. You've oh, got a lovely star I... here. Not, not that criticising right. anything. Not Chris, that's yeah, this one. Yeah, just done, yeah. That's so that's just a one. thought. Just a thought if you want to add just a lovely a star thought. on the tree. So we'll do, we'll do one in white. Let's do it. Yeah. OK. Thank I'll you have a quick for recap. that. That's all right. Well, you're cutting your star. I'll cut my star out, uh, yeah. So we have got the one-day special. Uh, we're talking about said star. Over 40% of the stock has gone. It comprises of four sets of fantastic dies. 44 in total. We were just discussing stars. But first of all, you've got this big star there, which, which matches your stamp in the next set. And this beautiful, uh, beautiful embossing around the outside if I just show you that card there isn't that can you see that embossing isn't that gorgeous so beautiful and simple and we've also got the, this lovely snowflake swirl there um, on another set then we move across and you've got that snowflake swirl there that we just saw on the card you've got your Christmas stocking which corresponds with the stamp you've got bows you've got the garlands there as well and you get all four of these stamps there as well. I love that little swirl at the bottom. Moving down, we've got the Christmas tree that Karen was just using, but of course you can use the presents for any time of year. You've got the baubles, you've got the shooting stars there as well. You've got your bunting, again, great generic stamp there uh, for, for all occasions. And then you've got your baubles, beautiful baubles, which you can use with your MDFs as well. And the star we were just talking about, uh, Karen and I, with your bow. And you've got that dingle dangle, not just at the top of the bauble, but a bit dingle dangle with the chain die there as well, which I love. We've We've got that on two flexi by payments of £19.98. 40% stock has gone. 711543. Um, I'll go to the stamps now. She's still cutting that star. Uh, we'll go back to Karen for another demonstration she can show us. Now, I love, love, love these stamps. Four different choices. Of course, you can go for more. Um, this is my favourite. I just love these stars, the shooting star collection. This, this that could be out from the top of the fairy one. That's that beautiful mandala star that matches that die. This is just gorgeous. Um, I, I just think it's so, 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 so pretty. And Karen used it on a set there as well. No, I'm not supposed to have any favourites, but if you look how that stamps out, isn't that gorgeous? So that's one set. That one's called Stars. The one next to it is called Borders. And uh, I thought it was all one, one stamp, but they're different. So you could top and tail those either side like a piece of lace. Beautiful borders there, the poinsettia, the stars and the snowflake. Moving down there, we've got our Christmas tree with the bunting as well. A beautiful stamp there. And you can see, look at that tree. Isn't that gorgeous? That corresponds with your die as well. And that Christmas stocking, really gorgeous. And then we've got our sentiments, which Karen's just used, uh, the lovely special delivery. Yeah, and I love the joy with the Christmas pud. 609-672-999. Just want to mention Walther. Walther Strong. Don't forget our bucket of red line tape. I mention it simply because... Um, you are getting the bucket, of course. But uh, I mention it because... Uh, when we launch the birthday at six, um, the, the, the seven-day savers will pause. So Walther will be on pause. You won't be able to get this. Now, in, in said bucket, you're getting all the red liner tape in there, and you're getting 12 rolls of, the th of three of the six, three of the nine, three of the three, and then the 12 millimeter, three of those. That's a very, very long-winded way of saying 12. 999-3593-1. 
Zero. All right, did you finish that star for me, Karen? I've just cut she it has. out twice. Great. As you can see here, I've got the little doofer, the little, well, well the little pointy bit there at the edge. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on there. So it's not got to go on the page, but when you're doing a three-dimensional one, you'll always have that little, little space just here. Ah. And then that one is just going to pop in. Beautiful. So on your three-dimensional ones, you'll be able to, to put them in and have a three-dimensional. And then you'll be able to hang that from the tree. Gorgeous. And that's the same with the ribbon as well. So that's what that little bit is for. So it's not an error. No. It's been put there deliberately so it can go into and a three-dimensional. So like that's the that end of the train. Yes, yes, lovely. I'll carry on down the counter if you want to get ready for the next I'll demonstration. That's all right, Karen. Yeah. Beautiful. So the complete collection comprises of both those dies and the stamps that we just mentioned. You are also getting your stencils. Yes, these beautiful stencils with your falling stars and your beautiful, beautiful snowflakes. Gorgeous set of dies here. And you can see, if I just show you on this lovely box here, the snowflakes have been used there with our baubles there. So great background die. Karen was just using the snowflakes there as well in, in the, the Christmas tree card. The stars, I should say. Really, really pretty there because, of course, the stars is such a great generic uh, stencil anyway. 9 99 for both of those. 040121. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Lovely stars on the box. Uh, right, MDF collection, yes. So think about your mixed media, think about physically a card, maybe with your baubles on. You can uh, stencil through your dies there, you can use your stamps. We've got 98 pieces in total of that beautiful precision cut MDF. And your tree, uh, as you can see, centerpiece there, um, will freeform and stand upright. So if you want it as a table decoration as well, really beautiful. We've got everything in there for 9.99. We'll make those 3D cards come to life. 947546. And of course, the complete collection comprises of all of this stencils, stamps, dies, and MDF for £94.93.92736. And you've got a why not deal, as in it is, uh, gives you greater savings to become a Freedom member. And uh, we've got that on three flexi buy payments there as well for both £28.47, uh, less if you're a Freedom Club member. 392736. Want to quickly mention the card stock that Karen's got on the show as well? Uh, pearl card. That's a really beautiful, rich gold, isn't it? It's not your brassy gold. That's like old gold, isn't it? And then we've got that beautiful pearl. And then you've got a gorgeous, gorgeous silver. Isn't that lovely? Ooh. Uchiba Kuchi, that's gorgeous. Um, 300 GSM, 15 sheets of each, so 45 in total, £13.49, bargain. It's 270503. I mentioned embellishments because they, they pop up on these lovely um, designs that we've got behind me here as well. And uh, Karen's used a few of these in her lovely, lovely designs. You've got gorgeous, gorgeous organza ribbon packs. So we've got gold, the white, and the silver there. Um, big spools there, 20 meters on each of those. So you're, you've got that, that, that lovely softness to it. Yeah, that lovely silky sheen with the organza. So, 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 so pretty. So 20 um, meters with that woven edge there as well. Then we've got our craft stickers there as well in our gem packs. We've got the gold, we've got the ice white, so you could argue silver, and then the holographic rainbow ones as well. How many on each of those? Oh, I'd have hundreds, hundreds, 240 gems per pack. I'm glad you didn't make me count that. And so pretty, especially with Karen's tree and her snowflakes there. You see the stamp and the die. Just that little bit of adornment there. And the baubles work beautiful as well. 9 99 for that pack, 884-868. The stencil paste and the silver, the gold, and the clear white, yeah. Um, beautiful. So it's been used um, on, on the cards here as well. Um, gorgeous here. We've got, um, there's our clear white. Yeah, big 100 mil tubs, aren't they? Ooh, that's a, like a pearlized, beautiful, isn't it? And then you've got that gold and the silver, as you can see, on the board here. And then, oh, this is on the black. Oh, no, that's on the white card stock. There we go, on the white. There we go. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Um, just once you mention the... Oh, you don't, you don't get three of each of the, the millimetres. You get 12 in total. Oh, I see. It's a bit of a mishmash. Sorry. So you get four of the three millimetre. How many of the six? Six of the six millimetre. What? 
six of the six millimeter so that's 10 ah uh, one of the nine and one of the 12 yeah you see there's me thinking you got three of each so it's still good it's still good we get let's just reiterate that four of the three millimeter six of the six millimeter you get one of the nine millimeter and one of the 12 millimeters all in walther's strong book it 999 we got there in the end Kaz. we got there <laughs> thank you for bearing with me a lot of lots of words. <laughs> oh, no, we got that. So this is the one that I'm going to uh, to do for you, but I'm going to do it with a, a non-shed glitter. And we all know that non-shed glitter is quite hard to cut through. Mm -hmm. uh, John next door said that if you you pop his through and it doesn't quite cut, you use metal on the back. Okay. It's the texture of the card. It's the cardstock. It's not the dies. No. Um, but I'm going to do that and then show you how to do it. So it's it's just a, a 15 by 30 card. I've marked it halfway, and if you remember, that's how the card would be, but you want that part to go over, so this is the part, just find the half bit, and this is the part that you want the die to go on. I've popped that into place, and it's just normal card stock, so I'm just popping it through, through normally, through the machine. Uh, where we go, I don't want those, I need those later. And I'm just going to pop that through. I need my. Uh, I like to keep. I like to try and keep my uh, plates as clean as possible. And that one's going to go through like that. And even though I've got the card coming out the side, it's not a worry because that should cut very easily. So 270 GSM card. Ooh, right, okay. And then we take that off, nice and steady. I've run out of tape, so I've got the, uh, that one folds over. I've got uh, washi tape, and oh. it, it can, uh, it can, you know, look at, they're coming out beautifully. The washi tape can be a little bit more sticky than the low-tack tape. I need to get myself some, some more. So if you do ever have a problem that when you're using your, uh, if you're using washi tape for low-tack tape, it may tear your card, some, card sometimes. So we've got that. And I'll, I'll carry on pushing that through as the other goes through. I just want to cut the... this part. This is your die, your, the one that you like that can be trees that way or lights that way. Oh, so lovely. Yeah. And bob that onto there and we'll do the star at the same time so i've got four inside one for a star i've got another piece of glitter there we go <laughs> this is how i craft at home you know and it's like the fingers go where 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 have i put it where have i put it what have i done with that what have i done with that I think I spend 90% of my time. I'm going to put the magnetic trim on as well, just to give me some extra oomph through the machine. So it's the pressure that I need. Yes, I need good for pressure. It to cut. Yeah. I'll show you some of these if that's all right. Which one yeah, cutting well, there, I'm popping that one through. So this one is um, Carol Carolyn. Carolyn, you're beautiful. That's using the Christmas uh, die cut tree and the lovely Christmas die cut stars because she's done that. So we get that lovely. Um, yeah border there of it just going down in size and then another one of caroline's beautiful there with the christmas stockings there have a jolly holly christmas this is using our beautiful star die there as well that uh, is in the complete collection as well isn't that pretty love that and then it opens out so 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 pretty and then again just ideas in terms of these fantastic dies and stamps there that uh, karen has brought us today really so 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 different that's one of my favourites. I love that. Beautiful. Thank you. So that's come through now. I've not taken it off because I wanted you to see how the dies go through the cardstock. Look at that. Straight through non-shed glitter. Because the non-shed glitter is encapsulated. And then look at the embossing on that. I don't know. Do you want me to lift it? Oh, yes. Now, that, now that's that, the embossing. There, we can see and that. That's that the non-shed glitter. <gasps> So that's the straight embossing. Yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. That's beautiful, straight through. So that was just to cut them out for you. So we've got our card now with everything 
pointed out, we're going to pop a back piece in there. And if we pop a back piece, normal back piece, you will find that you've got your star. And I don't want that star. So just get my poker tool and I'm just going to mark it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that by hand. Oh. Because I want the silver to come through there. Yeah. I've cut that slightly smaller than that. And then let's have a look. I'm just going to do this so I can see. I'm afraid that... I don't know whether you can see it, me doing it. You can do it with a pencil, but if you start doing with pencils and pens, you can mark your card up. And rather than try and cut it all in one go, I'm just cutting it lines to corners. So, I mean, line to a corner, mm -hmm. and it drops off. I know now I've got my shape there. And that one's sticking onto there. You wouldn't do it with glue normally. So I just pop a bit of tape on there. With a non-shed glitter you're going to need more than just finger lift tape. You're yeah. going to need the red liner tape to it uh, because it's uh, it's a coating. Let's so, bring out Wolf then, shall we? Yeah, bring out Wolf. We need Wolf strong in our do lives, it. don't yes. we? Don't you, don't you like me? Don't you wish he existed? Walter. Yeah, it's a right it's a good nice name, name, isn't it? it? Yeah. Walter yeah. Strong. <laughs> yeah. I'm just <laughs> popping that there right on the edges. <laughs> so that when you bend it back, there you go. Now you can see I've caught a little bit. Don't worry, go in and trim it off. Trim it down a little bit. Get some smaller scissors, Karen, yeah? There, they're better, aren't they? See, it was nice with the, it was nice seeing the glitter through, but I'm intrigued as to where, you know, <laughs> well, uh, either, uh, either or. Yeah, yeah, either or. So you've got it like that, but you would only have glitter halfway through. Yeah. What I am going to do is make it far more stylish. I'm going to make it, uh, make it, yeah, not half, not not half a lot of glitter. Let's just put a bit of tape onto this. Very simple and quickly, all cut down to size. This is going to be your backing in there. Okay. We've which is matching it up. Finger lift tape you're just using there, Karen, on the yep. screen there. Yeah, I um, love the finger lift tape. It's yeah. so quick. Three of each of those sizes. Mm -hmm. and 99. And then your little star here mm -hmm. that's embossed. I'm just going to put some foam tape on. Raise it up just a little bit. I get excited when I'm doing demos and I tend to rush them. <laughs> that's okay, because I, I have a request for you to yeah. try and squeeze in something else for me. Yep. Yeah. So that's going to go in there. So when you open it oh, up, you see that. Oh, double whammy. But it's a double I whammy. See. Then these, I've just glued them down. Yeah. Some decent, decent glue. I made my own borders. Beautiful. So I'm putting the black on the silver. When it sticks, it will stick. You it is a great, because if you're not confident doodling, Karen, you've done it for us, haven't you, with all the, yes, the lovely yes. dyes and the stamps there yeah, in either they, collection. They, they straightened them out. Yeah. They straightened me doodles out, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. No, because a lot of people aren't confident, so they just think they're doing a lovely card and they don't want to, they worry that, you know, they might spoil it in the last minute. Yeah. So I've got that there, and then another one. That bit's come straight out. I can't remember how I stuck these down. The the um, ah because I didn't use to glitter. I didn't go to glitter, did I? I didn't go to glitter. So I pop that there, and I've made that into a nice bit. The glue will dry. I didn't put them. I put them onto um, oh what do you call it, mirror card, and uh -huh. it went better. So the glue on the glitter is not. Uh, you just use a, a really really strong one. I'll pop it through the uh, double sided stuff and cut it out that way. And then I've popped that one on there so it fits. Beautiful. And then you've got the borders down the side, bringing it into the picture. But if you see here, you I'll bring it, I'll lift it up if that's all right. Gorgeous. And if I can just show, you've got all the deep embossing on the die. Uh, yeah. Right in there. 
Lovely but curve. it's quite pretty that one I think very pretty indeed lovely that we could Thank extend you. those borders um, I'm going to mention the one-day special Kazigan prizes of four fantastic dice uh, sets that uh, Karen has created her brand new collection for Oakwood Archer with 50% of the stock gone it comprises, as you can see, of the lovely tree, the baubles, uh, that, that, that lovely star, that oh, could be a star on a wand and all that gorgeous embellishment around it, and then the bows and the stocking and the borders as well there as well. Uh, two flexible payments of £19.98, £4 savings, 711543, £39.96. But of course, the complete collection, which you're loving as well, comprises of this and our stamps and our stencils and our MDF shapes, I know. Uh, the whole shebang. And we've got a bit of a why not deal on that. If you're not already a Freedom Club member, become a Freedom Club member because you'll still make greater savings. And we've got the, that on Freedom Flexi as well. We've got the three Flexi by payments available for if you're not a Freedom member and if you are. £28.47. You're saving £14.49 if indeed you are a Freedom Club member. You see that, that tree one there? You see that tree one there with the little... Yeah, it's got my favourite little stamp on it. One of my favourite little stamps there. The swirly stars. I love that. I do adore. I know I'm not supposed to have favourites. So I've got something about these stamps. I absolutely love them. Uh, £94.90, 392736. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Depends which day it is. Oh, right. OK, yeah, and don't forget, we've got the lovely card stock and we've got the lovely uh, stencil paste and we've got the lovely organza ribbon and embellishments. Are you good to go, Cass? I'm nearly good to go, good yeah. To go. Yeah. We're with you. We're with, We're with me. you. We're with me. So this is the one that I'm going to do t t now. And that to me is just an elegant one. It's one, it's one stamp. And uh, it's two stamps because you've got the Happy Christmas, uh -huh. uh, the Christmas tree, but it's also incorporating the stencil going ah, through. Ah, is that the snowflake one? It's Beautiful. the snowflake one, but it's just on white, white and silver. Yeah. Everything I've cut out to size. Uh, seeing where I'm going, that's the mat and layer. That's where my tree's going to go on. Just pop them. So these are all cut to size as such, or they should be. It's an A5 card with a backing on. Going to get the snowflake and show you how that I pop it through the die cutting machine and how I uh, emboss it. I know we did that little bit, didn't we? But yeah. I'm going to do a full one now. I need my rubber mat. I pop the stencil on there, pop your cardstock on. Does it matter which way you put down the stencil, um, Karen? You've got to have your card going through it. So you have to have your card between... Well, I mean, which side of the stencil is uh, no. pressing against the card? Oh, right, no, OK. There's no... not at all. Would right. you like me to turn it over to do it? No, no, darling, Shoot, no, just I just to wanted prove, to check. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's a stencil that's been um, cut and it's cut straight. There's no ch chamfering or right. anything. It's, uh, it's, okay. it's, so it's, no, yeah. it's been laser cut, yeah. so the, the, you use the stencil either way. Okay. When you put your, you have to put your card your cardstock in between the stencil and the the mat, yeah. because that pushes the cardstock through into the stencil. Into I think we often forget that lovely stencils can emboss, don't oh, we? Oh, I love embossing stencils. Yeah. Do you always think just one. stencil, stenciling through, or I, I because I can use it for stencil paste. I can use it for. Um, embossing like this, I can emboss just a little bit, I can ink all the way through it, I can ink in, in places so you can lift your stencil up and ink wherever you want when you've, you know, if you've got a card and you need to, or a, a, a project and you need to just finish it off, yeah. that's what you can do with it. But I love, uh, I love stencil. I, I find that the stencils that you pop in are just a stencil that you can, you, you know, the embossing folders. Yes. You, you you close them up, you put your card stock in and it goes through. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah, end off. Yeah. End off. Mm. Uh, this one, you, to me, I get everything out of a stencil and they're easier to store. They're not this thick. That's true. They're a lot easier that, to storage. store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that, I've got exactly the same. Can you see here? I've got a little bit of pink on it from my stencil <laughs> because I didn't clean my stencil, so I've got a touch of pink on that one. But that's what you can do. Yeah, exactly. You can put your ink on there, yeah, that's true. put it on, and then everything that's not on there, not not onto the stencil part, will be a nice little shadowy yeah, pink. I like it. I'll do that yeah. in a bit. If I <laughs> yeah. get enough time, I'll run, I'll run something through with that one. We've got about five minutes. I've got about five yeah. minutes. Oh, well, I'd best do the show you the stamping, shouldn't I? 
So I've got a nice piece of white cardstock and I've got an anti-static bag. Oh yes, where did you get that from? Uh, from the ladies next door. Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> She's been on the rummage. I'm having a rummage. You're not using your top today, Karen, are you? Oh, no. Hey? No, I've been told off. I've been told <laughs> off. I'm not allowed to use my top. Smack wrist. I had a phone call this morning from my mother. Ah, please don't use your top. I love it. I said, well, I can't because this one's white. That's the detail, white. <laughs> and we're going to have a detail silver. So I've got Stampendous uh, embossing powders. I find that they're really, really, really fine. I've got my tree. I was supposed to be organised, weren't I? But I get worse. I'm putting everything back so I don't lose it, and I'm losing it. Well, that's because you, 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 you know what I do. Put it, put it, yeah, you put it in a safe place and then can't find it. Oh. I'm always doing that. Drives me around the twist. I think that started happening after I got to about it when I got to 50. <laughs> Just. Because it's a long stamp, I'm going to stamp it out that way. And I'm just holding it, letting the ink go into it and just going so Use your uh, stamping platforms if you want. Yeah. A stamping platform, um, Jacob was, Jacob's 22 now. And yeah. just as I was pregnant, that's when I started stamping and embossing and I bought a load of stuff. Um, not, they weren't, it, it wasn't beautiful like it is now where you can go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, and I started, and nobody showed me how to do it or anything else. I went home and did it, I know I made a right mess of it, and I didn't stamp for years. Oh. And I said, I can't stamp, I can't oh, do no. it. And then I got a, sta a plant stamping platform, and I'm now stamping without a platform, because it's just built me confidence yeah. up built me confidence oh. up uh, ever so much. I know I shouldn't do it on card, but there we go. I'm going to pop that out of the way. I'll do that in a second. And then we're going to get my heat gun. Let somebody's put under there. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you've done similar to this, Karen? Because you've used the outside centre of the tree and then cut the tree out of mylar. Yeah. Yeah, I'll stand away from here so you can hear me. OK, lovely. I've cut the tree, the tree outside out of mylar. Yeah. And then I've used that as a stencil and just uh, I've, the inside part I put onto the card. Yeah. And, and inked around it. But that left me the tree blank in the middle. Yeah. So what I've done there is I uh, then used the outside of the mylar stencil that I made for myself and uh, ink and stamped on the inside yeah. and then glittered it. Yeah. And it With was really garland. simple to do. I mean, you lovely I, presence. Uh, yeah. I can do that as a as a as a demo. Beautiful. So We've got about 60 seconds. So about you're with me again, though, at um, 12, aren't we? We're together oh, we're at 12. 12. Does anything, I'll anybody... do that one. I'll do a, 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 a technique yeah, like that yeah, at 12. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. So we've got that goes on there. How, many, how long have we got? 60 seconds. 60 seconds. That goes on there. That goes... No, that doesn't go on there. That one goes on there. I went a bit duller today at that time. That goes on there. That goes on there. That goes on there. And on the bottom of there, yeah. what I have done is oh. I've got the beautiful ribbon that we've got. That lovely organza we've and got. And all I've kept doing is just wrapping it round and round and round. Once I've cut it off and stuck it at the back, I've done the little bow. And fastened it into there, but it gives you just that nice little bit more of, Useful. of the texture. Yeah. Gives you more texture yeah. by using more. And I've just put Happy Christmas on there, but this is how it embosses. Gorgeous, Karen. Yeah. Thank you. So that's that would be it. That's the original. Lovely.
Thank you. Sorry to rush you there no, at the end. No, no, I've nearly done it. I'm yeah, nearly exactly. Done it. You can see where we were going with it. <laughs> Fantastic. And of course, we'll see Karen again at 12. God, thank you so much, darling. Thank yeah, you. So, thank if there's you. anything you particularly want to ask Karen or see, um, then please let us know on email or on the Facebook page. Happy to oblige. So, we'll see Karen again at 12 o'clock uh, and some more fantastic demonstrations using the one day special or indeed the complete collection. Don't forget your Walther Strongs will be paused at 6 o'clock today. Let's see what else we've got coming up on today's Hatanda. got wonderful weaving with Gina B and Paola coming up next and then I'll join uh, Maggie uh, for cool cats craft and cool cats and more and then we will be letting Leonie loose. Hi we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie and this is my dad Roy and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products 
will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. you can see is today this hour is going to be about traditional crafts for the modern maker but also we are having some items not not traditional ancient techniques ancient styles of crafting but make it in really modern it's up to you how you do it but the there is somebody who her work has been in movies has been in museums and of course we have her now in the studio. Gina, hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very, very well. I'm very excited about the first item that we have got here, brand new today, is the ribbon and tablet loom kit. Now, this is ancient techniques. Yes, it's, it's tablet weaving itself is believed to have possibly been um, practiced by the ancient Egyptians. Wow. Um, there's a whole theory about how all of these diagonal borders were woven in this method. But it certainly is proven with there are Iron Age bands, there are Viking, there's medieval. I mean, it is such a lovely and versatile way to produce decorative bands and ribbons. And, and this is the thing, when you look at it, it comes flat pack, right? It's flat pack, you put it together, it comes with the glue. Um, the pieces have all been slightly sanded. They're um, a birch ply. Yeah. And you've got everything to get started, including, as I say, your glue. You've got a little bit of sandpaper if you've got a little rough edge. You've got um, a rigid heddle so that you can do traditional tabby weave or what's known as inkle weaving. Um, you also have tablets so that you can do tablet weaving. It's it really is all there as a nice starter kit to be doing um, a more complex type of weaving because of the two rollers, your hands are free to manipulate and do um, fancier bands. And of course, this is something that you were explaining that you can do simple weaving. You can do very simple. Um, the color changes are simply by how you actually thread up and set up the loom in the first place or you can go really, really complex. Now, the samples I'm showing here, are those ones with instructions, some of them with instructions? That's right, yes. The ones on those cards that were kindly woven by Anne for me, um, she starts out with the designs that are actually, the patterns that are given, and then she's carried on and made slight variations, which is ever so easy to do once you've actually threaded up. They are absolutely stunning. And of course, uh, with it, uh, you have got uh, some of the um, beautiful, what, what, how you call it, embroidery thread? It, it's a pearl cotton, yes. So it's a mercerized cotton. It's got a nice twist. So it, it's, it's a good thread for weaving bands when you're a new weaver. Yeah, this is the first actually, how I started card, card making was with embroidery in my card. Yes. And I remember buying the perle. Yeah, uh, the cotton. perle is yeah. a lovely it shiny is. thread. And it's such a, again, with, with all the crafts, it's all about the experience of the material. Yes, I agree. I agree entirely. Now, it, we, we were looking at this amazing sample because it, it, it's, it's really incredible. Now, you were saying that these bands have been woven. Yep. So half the, the skinny the ones. Skinny. That's Can you right. explain us a little bit more? Okay, so so the pink um, woolen ones, they're woven using a rigid heddle. Okay. So the first part of it. So you you basically just lift up and down to weave, and it, because the the wool is a, a multicolored hand dyed wool, you get all those different variations. And then the skinny band is tablet woven. And it's again, gorgeous. using that loom, that pattern is actually in the book, so it's a, a more complex pattern. And then I've stitched them together side by side 
to make a bigger piece of cloth, which then becomes the bag to put all of the bits and pieces this is in. Incredible. I mean, can you imagine? And I just kind of thinking, I mean, the way that this works is that you can create basically your own pieces of clothing from the very with thread. I mean, it's just like, like in, I mean, I may say clothing is a little bit, but you know, you can be belts. Or belts, so. trimming, it's traditional right the way back is for trimming edges of, of garments and for belts. I mean, that's one of in, the, the oldest ways of doing the tab, tablet weaving particularly in, was used for belts well, and girdles. I'm thinking also for, I know a lot of us are, are sewing a lot these days and doing handbags and things yeah. like that. These as a as bad. Tablet weaving is very, very strong because you are using four, usually four threads for each layer it's it's a nice strong band all of my dogs for instance when they've been puppies have all had tablet woven collars whether they have them when they're grown-ups depends on the dog but um, they've all had tablet woven What's... when they're, they're puppies and you don't want to put a hard collar on uh, them <laughs> ah, or a wasabi my, my cat my god you know, yes, so kind of yes. of like, sorry i can't keep talking about my cat like if it was the only cat but that would be completely unique yeah, exactly and you can once you become skilled you can actually weave letters with tablet weaving uh, and that's one of uh, that is actually what what actually hooked me my mother said there is an ancient form of weaving that you can weave letters and I said no yes and so that was it and because you can actually manipulate the colors to weave letters so you a lot of people do make dog collars and guitar straps and, that have words in and them. Now, I'm also thinking, I know that as a lead of a dog as well, yeah. that would work because this yes. is super strong. They're very, very strong. They really I mean, are. As I said, I, my, my yeah. husband has a guitar strap that yeah. I wove for him using tablet weaving. Because wow. again, you, you've got that many different layers. It's very, very strong. Um, we also have a suggestion from our director, Holly. Uh, her partner is a very much a photographer. Yes. I am a very... Camera not, straps are camera very much... Strap. Yeah, camera straps are another thing that, that is very, very common these days to, to weave because it's nice and strong. I mean, can you imagine? Because also the other thing with camera straps, sorry, I'm putting it around my neck because as a, you know, like I know I have done a, quite a little bit of photography myself. Uh, and one of the things I find is always that it always is itchy. It's always mm. uncomfortable. They are those yeah, men they use materials. that polypropylene yeah. stuff that's well, not very nice. Well, this feels mm. so nice yeah. and smooth because it's cotton. That one actually is silk. Oh, silk. Yeah, ooh, even better. Ooh. <laughs> silk. <laughs> Sell camera back. Oh, yeah, but why these, not, right? It, exactly. So the, imagine that, and you could personalize. So the, uh, even if you go to advance, you could spell words. Yes, exactly. Can you imagine? And this favorite camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this is Holly's other half. Uh, 89 pounds and 99 pence for what it is an amazing, uh, you know, I, this is the thing with crafts like this is it's something that has been done since the Vikings time yeah. or the Iron Age. And now you can bring the modern twist to it by making it usable for think, walking the dog, for your cameras. 89 pounds and 99 pence is the price. However, you do have got a flexible option to spread the cost into interest-free payments. 42 payments of 45 pounds. 197007 is your item number. I love this idea. Uh, then we have got the the mindful make it, makes ornament kit. Oof, oof. Yeah, it's like um, a bit early in the morning since, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but this one is already very busy. Now, I have to say, as soon as I saw it, yes, I saw Christmas, but I saw all year round. Yeah. I There's only I the love. Christmas tree that is really sort of Christmassy, the tree. And, and they are beautiful tree ornaments, but they are also beautiful keychains, maybe. Exactly. Or uh, card toppers, you know, for, yeah. for, the, for journals and things, Absolutely. charms and things like that as well. I, I love this one. And, and I, again, you were explaining how si si simple it is to do, so it's, it's quite yeah. a beginner's. Yes, very much so. This is very, very much to so just get you started, have a play with threads. Because I know that some
some people, particularly if textiles isn't their their yeah. discipline, they think, oh, no, threads, no, tangle. I'm not going to. Whereas that is really, really easy to just get you started doing a bit of weaving. The holes are there, so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting them lined up or anything. It's all there for you. Right. And also, everything that... I love things that, um, especially for starting a new craft, or, or maybe you're a paper crafter and you want to start soft craft, because it's so self-contained, exactly. it gets you into the mood. And I yeah. love, I mean, I have to say, I look at this one and I see an ornament, but also I see the most beautiful African shield in it, there. It is really like a shield, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> um, uh, it's very kind of travel, but that's just the thing. Is what you can see. Whatever, if you put it like this, it's a totally uh, ornament, a Christmas ornament. So you can see the difference in there. I love this. This will make also lovely elements for Christmas cards, so they can hang them in exactly. their tree. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Nine two zero two zero three is your item number. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. Now, from that to a little bit more advanced. Yes. Yes. The, the um, mandalas kit um, we have had on. Uh, previously and it's basically um, the now God's eye and I can't remember what it's called in Spanish oh. Mexican but it's written on there oh which one <laughs> I'm gonna say it uh, only because there's no way I'm gonna pronounce it wrong with you standing uh, okay. there <laughs> which which was <which>, <laughs> oh, okay all right sorry sorry um, Oh, so, oh, but it's a it's a big thing in um, Mexico. Yeah, uh, they make the four-armed ones quite often, Ooh. and I learned how to make them doing Girl Scouts when I was probably about six or seven. Oh, um, right. And what we've done is we've got some basics, but yeah. I've also added in some needlework and lace stitches. Okay. So we've we've increased the number of arms, and then we've added in, so you've got a little bit of blanket stitch, you've got a little bit of, um, as I say, a little bit of needlework and weaving and things that are not traditional added into the, tr the traditional wrapping. Okay, that's fabulous. Now, for nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is a price seven nine six nine nine eight is your item number. I'm trying to figure out which is the word, but I cannot cannot see it. Is this one? Um, if if I could see it written, then I could see now how how it's spelled. Uh, right, but remember, I, I love the instructions as well. Look at that, how beautiful they are because they are by step by step, but also with color. Also, again, it's a very portable craft. I think that kind of always is helpful nowadays because you know they normality is resuming in a way that we want to make sure that we have our crafts to bring to the lounge but also if we have to go on the train or something like that right next we have got the MDF uh, you know the this one is a little loom kit now this one comes flat pack again and you kind of assemble it already very popular 22 pounds and 99 pence is the price now what is the main difference between the this sort of looms and the uh, tablet one because the tape both the tape loom and the little loom only have one roller yeah you have to use one of your hands to control the tension and the weaving. Okay. Um, and that also means that you can't do tablet weaving okay. on that. You can do the inkle weaves, which is using that heddle that's sitting upright. Yeah. And then that folds down and then you can um, sort of put everything away nicely. So we, we came out with the the larger one, which is based on an 18th century loom that I have. And then we thought, well, okay, let's do a little dinky one because when you like weaving, you like little dinky yeah. looms as well. And so that's a nice little portable thing. I mean, honestly, that little one, you could put it in your handbag and you could do that on the train. You yeah. know, you wouldn't have any problem whatsoever. Yeah. So you can weave up uh, journal ties and shoelaces and, and little things like that with that. And then I just touched it too much and I kind of, well, I, I leave it here, sorry. And I came out, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have, my mom said when you used to see me a little, don't touch things. And I'm don't, like, don't worry. 
22 pounds and for 99 pence is the price and 478176 is your item number for the amazing little known kid now of course we are going to head we join we watch our channel for the fabulous demonstrations not for my babbling on so let's join Gina for the, the first demonstration hi right so the first thing I wanted to explain really is tablet weaving because I know it sort of throws a lot of people and there's no need for it to. Basically, tablet weaving consists of using tablets or cards. In America, they tend to call it card weaving. Okay. And so your kit comes with a starter set of MDF cards, uh, tablets, and we've engraved one side of these to help you out with your patterning. Mm -hmm. And basically, you follow a pattern by threading the correct color through the tablets okay. in the correct direction, either from the front or from the back. Um, I have a YouTube video that explains this in some detail because you don't want to sort of get confused with it while you're watching her yeah. chanda. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not anything to be confused about, but there can be some very, very complex techniques that Frankly, if you're a beginner, you don't need to learn. And so I've cut yep. all of the instructions down and tried to make it as simple as possible so that anybody can get started. So when we've threaded, if I can just sort of show yeah. here. Let's see, how shall I move this? That's it, I'm getting the, that's it. So you can see that I've got different colors in different yeah, holes, and, yeah. okay? And so in order to change the shed, and the shed is this section here, we need to turn those tablets. So we will either turn them, depending on the pattern, forward. Yeah, okay. So changed it like that, and that's changed the shed. I see, yep. And then we can pass the weft through, and then we turn again. Wow. And it's as simple as that. And you will start no. to see the no. pattern emerging. Is that simple? It's that simple. And so what makes up the patterning is the, how you turn those tablets. So. Right. If I were to keep going forward, yeah. my pattern that I'm doing here is going to change. Yeah. And I'm going to start to get chevrons. Oh. Okay. That. So you see, whereas I had a diamond before, yes. I'm now getting a chevron. Now, if I then... Yeah. I'll do one more forward just to start that off a little. Yeah. Bring them back. It will then all change again. Yeah. And it will go in opposition. Yeah. And we start to get a different pattern emerge. Now, when you're working on a, a two-roller loom, you do have to try to ultimately make the weave what's called balanced. Okay. Because what you may not be noticing while I'm weaving is yeah. that on the far end, yeah. the threads are twisting up. Yes. And then what happens is you have to untwist those threads otherwise it will get too tight. Okay. But as you can see, we've now got an X. Wow. wow. So we've changed the design completely. And, and we're about to have a, a little spot come up. So if I do that and then... And that's very fast that we are seeing because Yeah, you have it's ever so fast. Once you get threaded up, it's ever so fast. And you can change what you're doing 
almost just by looking at it you can experiment if you don't want to follow a pattern so I'm going to do this so that I get a bit of a spot here I think so again this is a craft that you could be doing watching TV oh absolutely like a proper like absolutely you know, or those crime you know crime things Once that you want to know who has killed it, the person yeah. this Once is the so it is actually set up the setting it up is the part where you have to concentrate because in order to get yeah. your patterns yeah you want to actually make sure that it's set up properly or you'll yeah. sometimes um, you, the hardest part is because there's no you know with knitting and crochet yes. there's a standardized form yeah. for pattern writing for tablet weaving there isn't so you always have to make sure that you read the instructions for whoever's written it yeah. on how you set up because it could be different but as you can see I've got a completely different design then has come up and that is from what I started out with but also I kind of thinking personally is like um, I kind of thinking you know once you set it up and you get used to the rotation and even if it's not a perfectly repeatable pattern yeah exactly it's the only thing that you have to be concerned about is the the time yeah untwisting again yeah. you can continue to go forward 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 mm -hmm. and then when it gets too tight yeah. you just change it and go back back yeah. back so how do you do that? Can, can you show us how would you do that or is it very yeah if it, it's twisting just a bit here okay so yeah. simply by changing the direction now that one twists ah. it right so okay so, so you would if, if you're going forward and yeah. you're just continually going forward yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to a point right. you just come back so so you just retight them that's the right blocks that's right and so, towards so long you. as you're putting the the weft through each time your pattern becomes an opposite pattern so it, it switches over and that is perfectly this is that's the nature of tablet weaving so even the Viking bands you see what's called a reversal point yeah but the reversal points are also what create the patterns so if you you could for instance just move yeah three of the tablets in one direction and three in another I mean that's you know totally going it's starting to get into the more complex realms but you can do that which can then give you instead of V's and diamonds could give you S's or crosses or snakes or yeah all sorts of wondrous things really it is it, the possibilities with tablet weaving uh, are literally endless absolutely and the use it and, and what I love about it is that it's a mindful exercise and in the sense that you once you set it up you can afford you, 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 you get into a rhythm yeah, you repeat a rhythm. and you go in. and then the fact that then once you have it done you can sew it together like this let me grab it so you can create actually something that is a little pouch but more important that gorgeous elements that you can then you know, camera strap, dog leads, you know, camera uh, bags and kind of handles, you know, that sort of, so it's a really handy yeah. thing to then have. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I think any of the, the straps, um, they are so useful. You, you, you don't think about it initially, but for instance, if you use a finer thread, yeah. Um, if you use a finer thread, you can also sort of make more tablets out of uh, playing cards, for yeah. instance, and so you can use finer threads with them. You can make ribbons, literally. You can make yeah. your own lovely little silk ribbons that can then be used you know, for whatever. Um, but it's particularly nice, you know, if you, you've got things like a bride or something. Yes, you want to do something really special yeah. that you know is going to be kept. For a bouquet. Exactly. So, you know, that kind exactly. of ribbon. There's yeah. so much that you can do. There genuinely is. Beyond the realms of just the reenactment and the, yeah. the challenges. I mean, yeah. some of the um, bands that were found in the um, Osberg ship burial, yeah. there was actually a tablet weaving loom set up in that ship burial and something like 56 different tablet woven bands mm. have were discovered and the complexity of some of those is just mind-blowing it really is mind-blowing again it does it comes to show that it is a maybe it's the first time that you see something like this and you think it well I want a new challenge craft wise 
This is perfect for beginners because you can do the most simplest ones, but you know that it is the scope to but grow. But it can grow with you, exactly. You can create the simple bands forever. But if you want a challenge, if you want to, to discover something else or you want to choose a different way of doing it, it can grow with you. Awesome. Looking, um, we, we kind of, you know. Anyway, we're looking at you know home decor and things like that. Absolutely. Hangings as well. Do something completely unique for yeah. you know a little bit. Right. If you want a Del ribbon and tablet loom kit, this is what you get. Everything in there that you can see. Eighty nine pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. One nine seven zero zero seven is your item number. Now you have got the uh, beautiful, uh, gorgeous uh, elements in there. Now we have got other loom kit is slightly different this one is the tape loom kit is the bigger version of the little one uh, so this one again is one roller isn't it it's one roller yes so you control the um, lifting and lowering of the shed so okay. the front piece is the heddle and that is what so basically where tablet weaving has on average four threads Tapes and inkles have two, so okay. just two going up and right. down. So you have a huge range of possibilities, including an awful lot of your um, fancy upholstery trims oh. can be uh, created that way. Um, you don't have as much of the bulk that you do with tablet weaving. Okay. And this one, again, uh, you know, we have seen a color. We have um, seen, look at that gorgeous. You can see they here, the check design. You are also getting pearl um, thread as well in here into the, the beautiful colors. And look at those gorgeous, you know, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that pattern as well. Full instructions. And I'm going to show you some of the weaves that we have got here. So they can say tape uh, loom weaves here. You can see what you can create. <gasps> look at that with that kind of a snake pattern. Oh, la, love a little bit of um, tasseling kind and of And those are all even easier on the larger loom with the two rollers because you can do more manipulating, you so see. So you could do that on the larger exactly one if you wanted well, to. Yeah. On the table. So that's, that's a, a good point. Uh, now, if you want to go for this loom and the pieces and the glue to assemble everything, £69.99. and pence. You have got a flexi-buy, two interest-free payments of £35.907.405 is your item number now next is the hinge trinket box in here uh, now what was the thought process to put this together uh, that is all part of our um, creative frame range and basically the point of it is is to do a little bit of weaving into a decorative element and so you weave directly onto the frame but you keep it onto the frame so you decorate the frame you make your little box and then you can set your weaving on top because to me weaving should be shown yeah it's very fun weaving but yeah. a lot of people weave and put it away yeah and so if you have elements that become a display which is where the creative frame concept came into being back in oh, two. 2013 I think mm -hmm. it was and so we have a whole range of different type of ideas so you with that one you've got a little straightforward weaving um, loom and you've got directions for an idea for weaving up a pattern on that but of course you can do whatever you want yes. and a, a nice box to go with yeah, it. Yeah uh, absolutely <laughs> and it's just 9 99 and you're saving five pounds so it is a really fabulous if you wanted to start something new or you just want a little present to yourself this is phenomenal value for money 894 is your item number and then we have got the rug weaving kit in here which is the same concept the same concept yes so you basically decorate up your frame and then you have got uh, technique cards and all of the materials so that you can learn the Persian knot and the Turkish knot and basically how to make a little rug it's the same techniques as Persian rugs use but we've scaled it down and so you can create a piece of art that you know that's why we have the stands with the creative frame as well so that your finished piece is on display now you know this is a really phenomenal value for money you have got a 10 pound saving 14 pounds and 99 pence 
this might be, you know, the kind of thing you know, I will need to challenge myself to something a little bit more mindful, something a little bit to learn a new technique, maybe soft crafting for the first time. 518224 is the item number. Remember, £14.99 for everything that you see, including the instructions, and then you could be happily displaying this in your house. Right, let's head back to, uh, to Gina because she has got more demonstrations to share. So I thought I would show you um, the concept with how the ornaments work. Uh, yes, oh, of course. Again, I would definitely say that decorate your pieces first. Um, it just makes it easier and stops you from sort of getting the, um, the threads messed up. Yes, yeah. Unless, of course, you want to get the threads covered in glitter, which why not? Who wouldn't? Mm. So I've cut a long length. And all of the instructions are actually in the kit, showing you everything that you, you need so that you can um, take this step by step, or you can go ahead and do whatever you wish with it. I've placed a larger knot in the back, and I'm just gonna come up through one of the holes. This is one of the easiest ones, is the Christmas tree. And then basically, I'm gonna go down, I underneath see. the center and I'm gonna go back through the next hole and of course I'm going to get a kink in my thread <laughs> because I'm on live TV uh, if it ha it's gonna happen any it's time gonna in your life it's gonna be now, live TV you may find it easier I do to turn this upside down because then it's much easier to direct the threads so I'm coming back up over the central post and then down, and then I'm gonna come back up through the same hole I went in previously. And this'll just make it a bit fuller. So we repeat the previous step. Yeah. Back I mean, down again. Yeah. And the name, it says it, Mindful Maze. Exactly, because all you need, you don't need to sort of overstretch. This really is meant to be I sit down and relax. I want to do something. I want to do something creative. I want to relax and I don't want to get stressed about the creativity because I think that is something that can happen to us. We get stressed about actually creating and what we create. Yeah. So on the second pass, now I've got two threads in each of those holes. I'm just stepping down to the next hole and then I am repeating and just doing the same again. So really I want, um, Two threads in every hole all of the way down. Okay. And you can see that this is really it's building up quite quickly. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the rug weaving arcade, a quarter of the stock is already gone and we barely mention it. So please do check out your baskets for that as well as the mindful uh, because those ones are very popular as well. Uh, the details for the rug weaving, uh, so they're going to come up at the bottom of the screen. The details for the Mindful Makes ornaments on the left-hand side of the screen. I love how quickly, again, you know, I know that I keep saying how quickly, but I am the sort of person that, A, I'm, I'm busy, and B, I am a little bit lazy. Or more than lazy is I put it... Like, I don't want to start a craft that is going to take a long time to finish. Yeah, sometimes you just want something that, as I say, something different. Perhaps you're yeah. not accustomed to working with threads. And so having something a little bit different to do, but you don't want to get all the extra equipment that goes with yeah. doing something different, because that can be quite scary. With well, something yeah. like this, you're working with threads, you're understanding how the threads actually yeah. work, and you're creating something quite nice at the end of it that can be used for, you know, a whole host of different things. Yeah. Okay. I've just got a little bit of a kink there. All okay, right. So and as you can see, it is building up really nicely. Yeah. And it's changing the, um, the look as well. Yeah. And of course, you can, the examples that are there, um, then show additional you can put some embroidery on it you could sew some beads onto them as i said you could put glitter on them a few yeah. dots of glue and put some glitter on amazing there's quite a bit that you can actually do I love it. 
and you can totally relax and unwind. <laughs> Indeed, absolutely. Look at that. And, and it's just like, again, the fact that you can do this as, um, like you were saying, unwind or things like that, but then it becomes something that can be a part of a bigger, bigger project. Exactly. Exactly. Or, or it can be like parts, like as I said, for decoration, the tree or something. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I even love, I mean, I have to say that even, especially the, the beautiful uh, star, the flower and the circle, you could leave them just in the tree like as they are. And yeah. then every year you do one. I mean, not that you yeah. need to, but it's just look how gorgeous they look once you finish them. It's and of course, you could change the threads. You know, yeah. you, you've got the the sort of Christmassy yeah. sort of threads. But if you, you know, if your theme is blue and silver, yeah, just get exactly. some blue and exactly. and grey threads or silver sparkly threads is and use those instead. Is there any specific um, sort of? So, for, would you say, oh, only this sort of thread will work, or could we? So long as it's not something that will snag in the holes, which yeah. is pretty much, you could use anything. Um, it's got to fit through the holes, yeah. so you, you couldn't use um, a knitting yarn because it wouldn't go through the holes. Um, but really, you can use just about anything that you, your heart desires, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah. Look how quickly they, they, they put it. Now, uh, we have had a question yep. from, oh, we, it's going to come in, in the printer. But I know what the words that you were saying in Mexican from the yes. other, well, not Mexican, actually, it's a Spanish. <laughs> but, you know, from, uh, it comes from South America, the technique. is ojo de Dios. That's it. And yeah. there's no way I was going to ever do that justice. <laughs> ojo, which is I. Of God. Okay. Yes. And That's idea, it. So, hence being American, <laughs> God's eyes. God's eye, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's. It was, it's funny because it's it's the sort of thing like it, when um, that yes, I guess speak Spanish obviously, but I kind of it, it's sometimes hard to, to when I'm speaking in English, especially when I is a five a.m. I wake up call. It's a little bit difficult to switch back between languages. <laughs> right, we have had the question, so let me read it out for you. Uh, a question from Janie. Uh, so it's like uh, she says. Love that ribbon table loom. I have one question. What does the back or or reverse side of the band you are working on in the loom? Right. It depends on what you're weaving. Okay. So, for instance, this one has yeah. a very definite yeah. um, front and back. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay. So you'll know if you've if you've threaded up wrong, you won't get a, a smooth pattern. Yeah. Some patterns are pretty much the same. So if you use a checkerboard um, or something like that, I that see. will often be the same. You can see a slight difference with that, the yep. one that you're holding. Gonna, There's yeah. a slight difference, but it's not It's glaring. beautifully, it, and it's beautiful both ways. It, exactly. So it does depend very much on the pattern. Now the inkle, which is using the rigid heddle, which is what the loom yep. is set up for there. That's pretty much exactly the same, front and back, unless okay. you're doing a particular decorative technique. They will be the same because basically you've got only got two, two. threads exchanging place, so there is no real top and bottom. And then I'm, so I'm going to show so I'm going to show this one, which is again one of those ones that it changes slightly, so then you can see there you can deafen it. But even that is very very beautiful as well. This is the thing. I mean, I'm I think I'm I'm pretty much in love with this amazing uh, tablet loom kit because the possibilities. It, there, there are a lot of possibilities, and as I say, there's also uh, weaving is traditionally, I think, one of those things that has always, you know, been mindful before mindfulness was ever created. <laughs> weaving and spinning, because there's something that that needed to be done, but they were because of the repetition. Once you've got everything set up, there's something that is very 
easy. You can still talk to people if you want to, or you can go into your own little zone. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's one of the nice things, especially now that you need time to just sit and chill. Yeah. Uh, I need to tell everybody that there is 20% of the brand new uh, ribbon and tablet looking has already gone because it is absolutely phenomenal. You know, imagine to invest into something that is not centuries, centuries old tradition, is millennia old. Uh, you know, it's from something that you could find in the, in the Vikings, you know, ships that you can find. Uh, the, you know, it's something that from ancient times to modern times, it has a usefulness. And usefulness in the sense that you can make your own uh, handbag and bands. You can make belts, colors for your pets. There is ways, uh, ways of spelling your own names as well here, the letters. You can make camera straps, you can make things for the hair bands as well. Think about maybe you have got a little, little girl and then do a little, little bow as well. Brace, friendship bracelets as well. Jewelry, like a necklace. You could do like little, um, you know, the kind of, you know, those chokers type of thing as well. Uh, there is so many things and the best thing is, that you could even, you know, do bands and then sew them together. The fact that is one of the th these things that you can do as a beginner, but also it has got a lot more of uh, exponential techniques that you can do. 89 pounds and 99 pounds is the price. It comes flat pack, it comes with the glue, so instructions on how to assemble, instructions on how to uh, weave with it, and all the different techniques as well as more that you can find online. So it's one of those crafts that will allow you to grow with it. 197 and 007 is your item number. Remember of that flexible option to spread the cost in interest-free payments as well. And if you're a freedom member, you don't pay P and P. So it could be two, for, uh, two payments. You can only pay 45 pounds today. Then in, in September, you pay the rest of the 45 pounds. Right, we have got uh, this beautiful uh, mindful mix. Uh, a third of the, the stock is uh, going. Now, please do check out your baskets for it. 14 pounds and 99 pence is really busy, so please check out those baskets. 920203 is your item number. Then we are going again, another mindful mag is the mandala cake that features that ojo de Dios. <laughs> now that I know what it is, I can say. <laughs> I mean, I say it very Spanish way, especially for the area where I'm from, with that joda, you know, like, but probably in, in Mexico they say ojo de Dios, which is a little bit softer, <laughs> you know, all the accents. <laughs> I cannot really do mine. All uh, right, it would be nice if I do a Mexican sh in a show in a Mexican accent. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but you have got beautiful, uh, uh, I love the stars in here. And then you can have got the, look at this. Um, yeah, that, look, you can see it there. Oh, I love all the way, the Yoho Yeah, that's really, it's, they, they look very much like dream catchers as well. That sort of traditional, our stained glass windows as well, cathedral, yes, you know. Yeah. There is, and of course you are getting the beautiful cotton as well in here. Is it? Yeah, it is pearly cotton, and they're ready to go through it. Now, in the instructions, 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 796 and 998 is your item number, right? And then we are moving on to the little loom box here, which is a really cute, but also. Just because it's cute, it doesn't mean that it's quite mighty. No, no, that's right. You can weave quite, you know, quite nice pieces on that. It, it's it's smaller in the sense that you will be more restricted to length than yeah. anything. The heddle itself has a few less holes and slots than yeah. on the larger loom, so your your patterns will be of the using less threads. Yes. Yeah. Um, but beyond that, you know, you can weave away and all your journal ties and your shoelaces and all sorts of wonderful things. Absolutely. 22 pounds and 99 pence is the price. And of course, it's a perfect introduction to looming. Uh, 478176 is your item number. Then we are going for the ta uh, this one, which is the tape um, loom kit. Now, this one is a larger version of the one that we just seen. It's, it's kind of the middle thing. Yes, exactly. It, 
it weaves the traditional you you weave the traditional sort of tabby weave or what many people call inkle weaves um, tapes and as I said you need to hold the, the front part because you only have the one roller but you can weave very long pieces still with this how long more or less well it's as long as a piece of string. The thing <laughs> literally, is, literally. Well, the thing is, is if you're using fat thread, yeah. um, a, a fat yarn or, or something, you will fit less on the roller. Okay. If you're using something thin, you will fit more on the roller, and so therefore it can be longer. But likewise, if you're using something fat, your finished ribbon will be wider. If you're using something thin, your finished ribbon will be thinner. It, less wide so it, it very much depends on the materials that you're using um, so it's a it it is one of those big open questions now I have got uh, here in my hand two pieces uh, that of jewelry they have got beads yes Do you weave you them in weave them in as you work yes oh, Anne's made those and yes what she's done is her weft thread she's threaded a load of beads onto her weft thread first so she passes it through and then brings a bead down and then goes back and brings a bead down Perfect. and goes back so that they're nice and even where she wants them as she goes through. Brilliant. £69.99 £99 is the price and 907405 is the item number. You have got a flexible option to payments interest free of £35. And then we have got the trinket box. Remember this one you weave into the top and here so you have got a finished project so you have got the loom basically to well to weave the frame and then you to display uh, perfect one of a uh, kind of element 999 is the price and you're saving five pounds eight nine four nine six two is the item number and then the very 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 popular the rug weaving weaving kit 40% of it has already gone you get the yarn in this case that's right yes and the snips so that you can cut it down to little tufts so it's nice because, for instance, yeah. I don't have a pair of snips. Yeah. So to have a kit like this, you, you've got the whole the thing. Whole, yeah. You have got and, exactly, and I can see they are good quality. They're very sharp. They're very sharp. <laughs> I can very tell. Sharp, and then, of course, you have got all, all the needles and all the tools to do it. And of course, you have got the sand and the perfect displays. You're saving ten pounds, so you're just paying fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. A massive saving in such a, a small uh, price tag. Uh, Five one eight two two four is your item number. I will force the interrupt there now Gina we have got nine minutes okay. uh, do you have any something else I'll show them uh, mandalas I'll oh, show yeah. how we get started on those okay, okay. Yeah. so I've got the smallest one the first thing by the way is that in this particular kit you also have thread bobbins oh, okay because your thread is the pearly cotton on a skein so if you wind it onto that it's going to save you a lot of headaches okay because they're not the pull skeins like embroidery threads and basically, they start out, I'm not going to do the specific pattern that's in the, the book, but just show you the principle. They start out by, hold the thread at the back and wrap. So the first thing we want to do is just wrap around the center. So anybody who's, who's sort of made buttons with me, you'll get this part, no problem. Yeah. Uh, Gina, and that is covering the center up for yeah. us. Oh, perfect. And then, depending on what the pattern says, you will do different types of wrap. So here I'm doing a square wrap, which means I'm going in a square. So I'm skipping one of these arms, and I'm going around an arm, and over the top of an arm, and then around. And so that's building up. Okay. And that is the sort of most traditional way that yeah. you can work these okay. so let's do let's say three okay. now we have had a question from Sandy uh, so she asked oh, how many balls of thread would it take to make a shoulder strap it depends on the thread okay it does depend on the thread what you do in the booklet I have basic um, calculations for you okay so with tablet weaving it tends to be that if you want a meter strap yeah you need to multiply by 1.5 so, so so meter for would be... one meter you need one and a half meters 
to tie up for your waist uh -huh. and your take up, which is the twist okay. as it's uh -huh. forming. For ankle weaving, you usually need about 1.3. Okay. Me, I just do everything at times two. Yeah. Then I always have a bit of spare so, for my records. So, so yeah, that, that's a very good point. So, for instance, here you are getting uh, four of these ones. So, how much you're getting? Um, I think each of them have 27 meters. Okay. So, you should be able to get yourself set up and at least try a couple of the bands and to have a good play yeah. with with a couple of the bands. Um, you won't be able to do every single pattern that's no, no, no. given, but you, you've got something to get yourself started. So with this, there's enough to at least make a meter? I would say, yeah, but absolutely, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because you have got 27 in each, so you have got four. I think, yeah, yeah, I think it's 27 on yeah, those. Well, I would don't, even, don't even, quote even if me it was 20, you but would have. It's, yeah, because they're um, uh, 10 grams of yeah. thread, so. so. Thank you so much. And no I hope problem that has at all. Answer your question at home. So uh, yeah, because that's an interesting question as well. It is it? actually. And as I say, the formulas are there. Um, it very much depends. You see, some of it can even depend on the pattern. If you've got a very complex pattern, it can be obviously more yeah. complex as you're yeah. as you're going. It take up more thread. Yeah. Right. So I've just done those. And I'm just going to show you how to sort of finish that off. I've cut the end. And basically, all you need to do is go to the back of your work yeah. and slide under some of the threads. You don't yeah. even really need to knot it. Gina, we are sorry to interrupt That's you again, right. but we are very, very, very busy at the minute. So please, a third of the stock of the loom, the beautiful uh, tape loom, a tablet loom, so not, not tape, a tablet loom has already gone. Please, you check out your baskets because we are increasingly busy when we reach the end of the show. So suddenly, they, so please, if you do not want to miss out on the ornament kits either, please uh, do check out those baskets, over 40% of the stock of that. Suddenly, it's just suddenly gone up. So then I really want to make sure that nobody misses out. Thank but sorry you. about that. That's Jim. all right. That's your job. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's right. So I've finished, tied off that thread. I've threaded, I've still attached to the thread. And I've threaded through the end. And then I've taken the needle off, tied a little knot, and then that connects my second color of thread. So that's one way of doing it. You could just hold it. And so now I'm going to do the same square knot, the square wrap that we did previously, but I'm doing it on the arms that I skipped before. Yeah. So you can see that it's crossing over yeah. and that starts to create another pattern. So you can um, see why these are sort of considered quite mindful. Yeah. So then we have another pattern there. Now what we can do is we can also come around yeah. and go to opposite oh. arms and that helps to get space and yeah. it also means that you can wrap sort of yeah. fewer arms. So if we then come to this one and this will give us some space in between yeah. I see. The thing is to remember is yeah. to try to make keep it so that your threads are lying next to each other, not on top of each other. Because okay. if they lie on top of each other, they'll it'll all close up yep. and be bunched together. You won't get that spread that makes the pattern up. And so and, and how then, quickly as well you build it up. Yeah, and so, I mean, really, you don't have to follow any of the instructions that are in there if you don't want to. Just look at the diagrams that show you the different wrapping methods and make it up as you go along if you like. That's the nice thing, I think, about both of these, the Mindful Make kits, is you can choose to follow it or you can choose to play. And so, again, I'm just going to change over the colors again. Yeah. So I've cut the ends. I'm just going to weave through. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not to catch that. That's the most difficult part yeah. is not catching the arm. And then I'll add another one. So let's go to this color and I'll show you again how I, I added the color. So I've just threaded a little bit into the needle 
taken the needle underneath at the back, remove the needle, tie a knot, just cut off the tail of that knot so it doesn't get in my way, and then bring that until the That's knot that. actually yeah. catches. So nice and tidy. Yeah. Now you can then go over every one if we want and wrap around. Yeah. We like have got so. less than a minute at the minute. <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> well, I can just keep yeah. wrapping away forever. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Ina. It's been thank you. Oh, an absolute pleasure to have you. I just want to remind everybody to check out their baskets. That's the only way that you are going to get yours. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence is the mandala kit. You are getting four of the MDF mandalas. This is what you are going to get, the gorgeous mandalas with the kind of the thread winders as well, which we can you then use for other projects. You have got the needle. You have got the perlet cotton as well in those glorious colors. You have got the techniques as well here. And you can see the gorgeous, beautiful techniques. Uh, 796998 is your item number. Now, I also have got uh, the rug weaving um, kit. We have got also an update. Uh, over half the stock has already gone. Remember, you have got a £10 saving in there. £14.99 is all you are paying if you're. Now, of course, please do check out your baskets. And Gina, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love all the kind of the heritage that you bring. <laughs> <laughs> but also, of course, with the modern twist of making it nowadays. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, yeah, that's where I'm in the first of October next. Well, we look forward Some to exciting that. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Don't forget to check out your baskets because that's the way to get ancient techniques into your hands right now. Uh, cool Cats Craft, Cool Cat Cuts and more. Oh, that's a mouthful. Uh, after the break, and then we are let Leonie loose. That's not so much of a mouthful. Uh, awkward signs of the season at 12 o'clock. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Achanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. Uh, I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well, and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch Home. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years, and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. 
We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a Chamber. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I like to pack my shows with lots of hints, tips and techniques. And my idea is to give the experience that I've got and I've gained to everyone at home and show as many things as I possibly can. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dies and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Very good morning to you. Now I'm with two lovely ladies. We've got Maggie and Kay, who I decided to rename Anne this morning. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and we've got some amazing, amazing dyes. Now I will tell you, it's seven o'clock this morning. Loads of stock went over. Fifty percent of the stock's already gone. So it really is a case of hands on. Please don't miss out on this fantastic Cool Cat Mega Bundle. Uh, but I'm going to say a big hello to Maggie first of all. Good morning, Maggie. Good morning. What a cracking start to the day. We've had. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. If you were with us early on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you're going to show us what these beautiful dyes could do. Yes, and we are. Kay's in the background, who we'll see in Kay's a moment. Here. She's going to be yep. demonstrating. Yep. So she is there. Just, I didn't make it up. Kay, who I like to call Anne. Um, <laughs> so, so what can these beautiful dyes do? Okay, right. So this is our fourth dye collection that we've brought for you. Um, they're designed to help with making interactive pages for your journals, your albums, your memory books. So you have the Clever Strip die plate, which we demoed in the first show. That showed you how to get dimensional pages, so you can put even more in your pages and your albums. You've got the um, Dumbbell and Swivel die set there, which we haven't demoed yet, but they're designed for different types of closures for your pockets and flaps again. Oh, they're good. Um, they're just fun to use and you've also in both those dies you get a, a mini mag pop you get two mini yes, mag pops yes. well three in total actually and they're designed to hold our neodymium magnets well, i'm glad you said that because i couldn't pronounce that earlier <laughs> Do you know, we were really horrible. We made Paula pronounce it this morning. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> she just does that first thing on the 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> then we have the large walrus flip flap die set. <gasps> right, okay. So these are based, these are our large flip flaps. So the larger one actually cuts into decorative paper, but only cuts on three sides. So you have a hinge. Uh -huh. And then the smaller one is the mat, which is the black card that you can see on the front. Yep. Yeah. They match with our existing walrus whisker dies and Victorian whisker dies and belly band dies. Previous dye collections, they're still available, I think, on the website. So everything all tallies. And if you want something to look really beautiful, all yeah. the decorative edges match, belly bands match and stuff. That's what we've tried to do. Com um, continue adding to the collections. Using them together, brilliant. Yeah. So we're just to yeah. build upon it. Then yeah. I was talking to Kay about this this morning, curved photo slot die set, because uh, my dad has an album which looks exactly like these the tiny ah. sepia photos. They're yes. all falling out now. But yes. Yes. This is per this is beautiful. This isn't it? is our um, second set of photo slot dies. The first set we bought you, we just bought you two sizes. Yeah. This one is three sizes. You've got four by three inches, three by three, and three by two. And they're designed again, the slots cut into the decorative yes, paper so that you don't have any waste and you can still see the image behind. And we've actually made the slots a bit larger so it's easier yeah. to manipulate the photo mats in. The photo mats come with the photo with the actual cut in dies as well. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I can this is easy when you've got two hands. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, we've got our 
mini mandarin Mexican flip-flap die set yes, as well. Yes, this is the same concept again as the large um, flip-flaps yeah. and again they match corresponding dies that we've already brought out. So you can continue continuity and provide a really beautiful finish. Now it all comes to life when you start to see the beautiful, you were doing magnet uh, folders this morning and uh, we've got gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, well, for all sorts of journaling folders. So you'll see them come to life with the fantastic samples we've got on the set. £89.94, approaching 60% of the stock gone. This is the only second show now we have today with Kay and Maggie. So please don't miss out. You've got a freemium discount there of 18 99 £80.95, 845923 and we've got the Flexi Buy payments on there as well. Two flexi by payments of £40 and £48. Now, a cracking collection now because we've got uh, papers, we've got the Christmas album here. In fact, here I've got my little, because this is what I need, my, my lovely instruction booklet. So we have got here 12 by 12 cardstock, 25 sheets. We have got the grey board covers and spine. The n Come on now, Maggie. The neodymium. I ni think I like niminiminum better. Niminiminum magnets. The magnets. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the archetype uh, in both sizes there and, of course, my book. Now, this is just a fantastic... Talk to me about this set. You've also got, in addition to that, you've got your dedicated bespoke MDF <gasps> words yep. for family, Christmas... Um, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, yep. and they're designed, they're three mil depth, so they will fit in your pages if you do um, dimensional pages, which the instructions are for in that kit. Um, and you also get 60 sheets of double-sided, acid and lignin-free, absolutely beautiful Christmas papers from Craft Consortium, and they are exclusive, exclusive. in this bundle exclusive. on TV here and on our website. Oh, I mean, these are just breathtaking. I don't know which way to stand. I mean, just look, just feast your eyes, everybody. These are exclusive only to the website, uh, only Ho to Chanda, Chanda and, yeah. of course... No, uh, exclusive cool... to TV, on to TV, TV here. TV yeah. and the Cool Cats website. Is it? So we won't get these anywhere else, folks? You, uh, yeah, you will. Oh, Sorry, oh. That, that's my fault. I've confused you. You can, you can get them on Ho Chanda, exclusive yeah. to TV. Yeah. Um, oh. But, uh, you know, I think other people, I don't, other websites have them, don't they? Oh, yeah. we don't want to know about them, Mags. No. Don't care. We no. don't want to know about them. Boo no. to them. Uh, let's get them now so we don't miss out. <laughs> Here we go. These are just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And, and I've got to say, actually, the, the back, the, these ones here, the wait bright... Till, yeah. Wait till you show people the grunge papers. Oh, um, my word. Craft, Craft Consortium are known for their grunge background papers. Yeah. This one is an absolutely stunning, really rich, really regal colours. Um, beautiful to work with, not just for albums, for, but for your die cutting, because all the pages, they're actually, di they've got different textures painted on them, yes. printed on them, so you, no two pages. I think you get two or three pages of the same pattern, but it's different on each side. Right. And some of them have one colour on one side and one colour on the other. They're just absolutely stunning. I can see those textures, they yeah. vary, don't they? Yeah, I mean, they're that... really, really beautiful, and oh, they're yeah. such rich colours. They're electric, actually, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. I've got to look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't oh. that a really warm? And it actually, the colour on the screen doesn't do the justice to the colour here, really, because it's, it's right. richer here. Very yeah. much so. Yeah. Um, stunning. 20 designs, 30 double sided, premium cardstock. They're just beautiful. Um, and it makes a beautiful. With our construction grey board there, yeah, a nine by nine. It'll make a nine by nine album. album. You've only actually got the cover decorated there. I haven't got there. the cover decorated okay. there. But there is enough paper to do a nine by nine finished album mm -hmm. to decorate a memory box, which we've got coming up in a second. You're already shopping ahead for this. Inside the memory box, there's a small eight by seven album which is a separate basic kit that we've got, but that's actually decorated with the same pack of papers just from, this, from I mean, this kit. Oh, this box I'll show you now in a moment, but uh, I mean, it's just beautiful. And, and you, the detail there, you were explaining to... Oh, no, that's in my next box coming up. Yeah. But uh, let me just show you this. So this is, this is just showing how some of the papers were, and they are absolutely Kay's stunning. That's there. Karen's bauble there Karen's from the One Day yeah. Special. That's and these some words. of our words. Yeah. <gasps> Okay, Jesus and here we've got some more words. That's the little um, dumbbell being used. The photo slots are there and the yeah. flip flap. But you can see how the papers all tie in beautifully together. Oh, amazing. And I actually found this collection, I found really easy to match the pages. Sometimes people really struggle trying to match when, if you're doing an album and you don't know which patterns to pick and which coordinate. This was so easy because you've got the grunge papers as well. Yes. So you've got the plain background to take away some of this, soften the pattern down if you want. 
Just gorgeous. And if you're loving these sentiments, these are just one little tease. Oh, Coming yes. up with yourselves. The Project Bin, September the 10th. Yeah. So but is. their sentiments actually are perfect for albums and oh, journals. Just, yeah. just a little highlight of what's to come. Faith is believing when common sense tells you not to. I mean, I believe, I believe. It's silly, but I believe. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> but yes, like you said, those pay and there's again as our lovely Karen's baubles. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, all the all the elements that you're talking about on the show, just beautiful. Got to say that 60% of the album, this kit has gone. We've got the box coming up, so don't don't despair. That that's, you can shop ahead for that one as well. But as uh, Maggie said, the papers you've got enough papers in there to decorate that as well. Wow, wow! Two flexi by papers of twenty-seven pounds fifty, five eight four five two nine. Had a lovely instruction booklet, which I love because sometimes we watch the show and then we forget, don't we? We go uh, away. Yeah, we have lots of YouTube tutorials as yes. well, step by step, Brilliant. so you'll be able to pick up on there how to make things, how to do things. Fantastic! Yeah. Thank you, Maggie. Our next kit is really busy. It's my mm. favourite. Ah, because it's movies, it's film, it's camera light. Section stage, <laughs> waiting in the wings. The curtains are coming down. Applause! Ah, oh, I miss it. I miss it. Oh, hear the applause ringing in my ears. I've got us live. Right, okay. So I'm such a lovely darling. Three quarters of the stock has gone. You're loving it as well. Oh, we love this. Talk to right, me, Maggie. This Talk to one me. is exclusive to our website and <gasps> exclusive to her chander because this has the bespoke MDF shapes that Ooh. match the cutout cutout pages yeah uh, we've had permission from Chow Bella to launch this uh, and we're delighted to do it but it works so beautifully the collection itself is absolutely stunning when you first look at the pa papers Heather has made a beautiful album for us which we'll show you a bit of later yeah. but when you first look at the papers Ooh. you think oh it Ooh. seems there's not Ooh. a lot there but there is so much going on in there absolutely stunning papers they are they really are lovely but there's lots of really nice little words you can cut out and and yes. finish off and we've got a fabulous video on our youtube channel heather's done a walkthrough of her album and it shows you all the elements how she's used them um so there's lots of tips and ideas there and you can always contact us if you know if you'd like to know a few pictures of pages or whatever just get in touch with us at coolcatscraft at gmail.com or our facebook page and we'll do as much as we can to help you Oh my word, these are just They're beautiful. They're stunning, absolutely stunning. Everyone's a corker. My problem is now, which kit do you go for? <laughs> oh, it's just, this is approaching limited. Oh, crikey, Maggie, I need to get all this. Get, whoa, is it any wonder? Because it's just phenomenal. <laughs> um, just beautiful. And then we've got our num 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 magnets in there. <laughs> and we've got our arch archetype in there yeah, as well. You have. Yeah. Um, oh, wait till I show you your grey board. Oh. Yeah. Oh, your grey board there to make the nine by nine. Oh my! Word. I mean, like you said, everyone is a. Look at these are beautiful. Look at this. Look at this texture on the back. Oh, oh look at the light bulbs. I love it. Sorry, I'm just squealing now because it's so gorgeous. <laughs> um, let me just show you the fantastic because we've got the box coming up. But look, look what's been made. Oh, so that's using the um, some of the. Some of our MDF words, but also the MDF elements Beautiful. on the top of the box, you can see. It is not amazing. Um, but it, this is just an absolutely stunning set of papers. Beautiful. And then if you open the box inside, <gasps> uh -huh. you can see another little album that fits in there. And Kay's used, as you look through the album, you'll see that Kay's used a lot of the MDF embellishments to go through. And uh, yeah, so they're on the front there. Oh, it, it's look. just such a lovely collection and it's been so lovely for us and we have to thank Chow Bella for that for giving oh. us the opportunity to do this because it in our opinion it's made a big difference to the project hasn't, hasn't it Kay? It? Yeah. So yeah. thank yeah. you very Beautiful. much Chow Bella. I hope we can do some more. Oh <laughs> would you? Yeah look at these the glossy accent. Oh what? No I was enjoying that. What do you mean it's gone? Sorry, shout at the TV now. Technically, it's a sellout. <laughs> Technically, it's a you, sellout. Everybody. Oh, Thank you. well, there you go. Well done to you. Uh, don't let any of those bob back, uh, but I'll be telling everybody if they do. So make sure you check out your baskets. And I should mention, you're also getting a Cool Cats as part of our birthday celebrations, which we haven't launched yet. But this is Cool Cat prototype number two. Am I right, Maggie? Yes. Don't forget to feed him, though. Yeah, that's right. That was the that was the the, 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 the stipulation. The yes, yeah. the stipulation. So you're you're getting that as a little bonus. Cool cats number two there as well. Now a lot of you are loveling uh, as a free. If you're buying this hour, anything, okay? It's uh, during the um, birthday promotion. During the birthday yeah. promotion. If you yeah. order from us. If yeah. you order yeah. from uh, that's uh, it. Any Maggie. products. Yeah. Much much easier if Maggie says it. Right now Sorry, the memory box. Up. This is beautiful. Already very busy for this. Yeah. Approaching half the stock gone. Talk to me about this gorgeous okay, memory box. Okay, so this is memory box number two. 
We bought you a memory box that was a bit larger um, a few months ago. This one is slightly smaller. It will still take an 8x8 album. The actual box compartment at the top is 3 inches in depth. Okay. And then you've got a drawer that slides out underneath. So you yeah. can put your album, if you choose, in the top. And then in your drawer underneath, you can put all your precious photos, any mementos. Perfect for a wedding box, perfect oh. for a new baby box. Memento box. All sorts of things. So we're trying to do things so that, because we're aware that people make absolutely beautiful albums, you want to keep all your memories. And some of the things you can't actually fit in your album, so it's nice to have something else to go alongside it. And there was a lovely addition to the top here. Um, you explained it to me, Maggie, as yes. well. With the... um, it actually comes with a set of two buttons, one for the lid and one for the drawer. Yep. And then there's two washers, which mm -hmm. is, well, Kay's going to demonstrate all this, but Great. so you've got depth with your buttons, so it's not sitting flat to the box lid yeah. or the drawer front. And then you've got another little tiny button that can, you can choose to put at the back mm -hmm. that you thread, um, put your thread through. So it holds it all in place oh, firmly. Brilliant. And you can't see the um, made-up box because we've given that to Gina. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> we understand. And then I love this so that the lid fits nice and snug there. Yes, on it's the top. designed to sit on. So the lid won't slide off. No. Once the lid's on, it won't slide off. Beautiful. And then, oh my word, 60% of the box has gone. But I'm just showing you because we've got these fantastic dies on the show. That's sh showcasing all the dies. Louise, yeah. Louise made this beautiful album. Louise. And this is Louise's <sighs> first album that she's made on her own, and she's only done. One before, two before. Yeah. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's showcasing all the dyes again. Fantastic. Lovely to see these fantastic samples. Thank you to lovely Louise there. The memory box, over 60% has gone. So, especially when uh, Kay comes to demonstrate uh, the making, uh, just bear that in mind. Over 60% of that has gone. Okay. Uh, moving down to the MDF words. So, here we've got two um, choices, as it were. So, this is my first set. And this is the album and the journal words. So, talk to me about this. Yes. One. So, these have done we've just done um so as you know we've got a new laser machine now which is our mm -hmm. new toy and Kay is a whiz on the illustrator so i was doing an album last week and i said Kay, we need words so she said okay what do you want so i wrote them down and and they're cut out so we thought they are so useful so you've got album journal um i think there's wedding day yeah. all sorts of things like Adventure. that so they come they come on pre pre-fitted in your mdf they're slightly tabbed so you can just cut the tabs at the back I spray painted mine before I actually cut them out, which made it easier. You can colour them with alcohol markers, whatever you like. Uh, but it, again, it just adds depth and dimension to your pages. You can cut into the phrases, so you, could, you don't have to have the words all running along yeah. horizontally. You can have them vertically. You can cut in with a craft knife. It's quite easy to do. So that's the first set. Beautiful. 11 195 and then our second set, which is the Christmas set, and I believe yes. one set of these is yeah. In our the other um, kit. bigger board is the Christmas set that actually comes with the Christmas papers yeah, and a decorative one, album. Yeah. That mm -hmm. one, and then you've got a smaller one, an additional one on top, which has got the fun things like mince pies, bar humbug, bar humbug. all sorts of things. Snowballs, snowballs, Chris Dingle, gingerbread. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, cosy. I love it. Uh, so that is our precision cut Christmas words. Eleven ninety nine five zero eight four nine four. Check out your baskets. Can I just mention as well the Architape? I know the other two sold out this morning, the seven o'clock show. So I have now remaining our green colorway and our red. Now red is also proving limited. So we'd use Architape for our right for your for going around your album edges and your spine. Yeah. You get two different widths. You get 30 millimetres and you get 50 millimetres. The 50 millimetres are what you use for your spine hinges. But there's enough there to make um, a large album and a small album, just covering around the edges and doing the hinges. Let me just show you the red So you've got there. a beautiful dark green and a beautiful dark beautiful red. Beautiful dark red, yeah. They coordinate beautifully with the Christmas papers. Gorgeous. And they're, they're long, aren't they? I mean, three metres and two yeah. metres. Yeah, you've got, you've got plenty there. Got plenty there. Um, Architect is fa fabulous to work with. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. 999-913-970. Just highlight that because we did have two sellouts this morning in the 7 o'clock show. Let's have a look at the web there now as well. Oh, sorry. No, finish sample CD. Let's, let's have a look at that instead Ooh, and then we'll go straight to Maggie. That. Okay.
I just want to highlight before we go to Kay that we are limited on the memory box there, so please check out your baskets. Let's just have another quick revisit. So we're getting all of the uh, MDF shapes there with the lovely laser cut new machine that Cool Cats have got uh, to make this beautiful memory box, this keepsake box for our journals, just for our memories, for our photos. You've got this lovely pull-out drawer at the bottom. Love that button uh, handle there as well. Um, and then we've got, oh, hello, right, while I'm meandering, uh, we've got technically now sold out, technically sold out. Um, this is good news. We can keep our journals in it. Well, we'll see if we can, are we, we can get some more. Right, okay, that's good news. Back on extended delivery. So that will be dispatched a week today. What date does that make it? Mm. 2nd of September. Oh my goodness, we're in September almost already. Where have you gone? 2nd of September. It's not long to wait though, is it? Back on extended. So uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful keepsake box for your lovely journals and memorabilia and photos and what have you. So back on extended, which is good news for you and me. 527-550-1699. Kay, over to you. Okay, I'm... Yeah, I, well, I'm doing the memory box. <laughs> Great, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> um, it's on extended. If we can get it out earlier, we will do. Oh, right. So, okay. yeah, so the, the, the week was the longest you would have to wait. Hopefully, it, it would be even earlier than that. Smashing. Okay, so um, I'm going to do put the memory box together. So I'm going to start with the lid. Um, you get all your, obviously, you get everything in the kit. So you get your lid, it's got a hole in the middle, and you get a, a bigger one and a slightly smaller one. And that acts as a little stop, so your lid doesn't shake around and it just keeps it locked in place. So, you've got the holes in there to line it up. So I'll just put a bit of glue on that. Because I need my glitter a bit later, because I'm going to put the buttons through it. So I'll just put a bit of glue on. And then if I just line up the holes in the centre, then I'll know it's in the That's it. So I've got the holes lined up. Make sure everything's straight. And then I can just leave that to one side to set while I make up the rest. And then I'm going to make up the drawers. Move those across. <clears throat> well, you get your layout kit as part of um, the kit, obviously. If you've got any questions, yes. email us. Yeah. Uh, we've got a Facebook page, Cool Cats Craft Facebook. Put a question on that. Oh, brilliant. Or email us. So, you know, we're, we're, we're never far away from help. <laughs> Fantastic. That's nice. And like, like Maggie said, you know, the YouTube tutorial, yeah. tutorials and stuff. Right. Yeah. So the, uh, the drawer consists of five pieces. Um, obviously, that's the front because that's where your button will go, the hole in the front. You will notice that when you put it together, I would suggest you lay it out like that because they are designed to fit like that because there is a slight discrepancy if you move them around. So if you move that one there, it doesn't quite fit. Ah. You can see there's a gap there. Oh, yeah. And this one wow. is slightly too... So don't force it. It just no. means it's in the wrong place. So just move it around until you've got it in the right place. Incredibly it, precise. Yeah. Yes, that's... that's, that's uh, uh, we do, yeah. do precision stuff. So if you do it like that, then you know you've got it in the right place. And just basically, just glue everything aside. And if you pick it up, and get glue everywhere. <laughs> so, so I'll just put glue... Any particular glue there, Kay? I, I use a, a good quality PVA. Mm -hmm. I like the sticky. I like the sticky one, yeah. personally, because it sticks it quite quickly. Um, your, or a good quality um, wood glue would be fine. So anything you would use for wood, you can use for this as well. But I do like it. You can use a thinner glue if you want to, but I prefer a stickier one, personally. Yeah. And those holes are great, because they're already <coughs> drilled for us, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, uh, it's a bit of a nightmare trying to get the screws well, yeah. through. So if you don't, it can be tricky, can't yeah. it? We, we do the bit buttons with the kits, but you don't have to use the buttons if you don't want to. So I'll put those like that, and then I'll just glue these bits. And I find it easier to do all the gluing first, and then stick it all together in one go. And theoretically, it stays put. But this is live TV, so anything can happen, really. So would you, if you were, if you were constructed from home, Kay, would you, <coughs> would you be doing your papers? on that now? Or uh, no, I, no, I'll, I'll always put it together first. Always put it together, yeah, right. MDF generally is better you put it together than decorate oh, okay. it. It has a tendency to swell. But, uh, so if you put anything with, with wet, wet on it, yeah. it will swell slightly. Oh. And ours are usually designed to be really precisely cut. cut. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, so you can either paint it or, or um, put papers on it. Mm -hmm. Oops. So, just put that one in there. So, that's obviously wrong because I'm for trying to force that in there. Doesn't like it, does it? <laughs> doesn't like it at all. I did like it a minute ago because I put it on that side. I must try it on that side. <laughs> well done, move these around. That, that one fits perfectly. So, that fits like that. 
And well, just going to show you how precise it is. You, yeah. you just can't, like you said, don't force it. Yeah, don't force it at it all. Belong, so you, that you, doesn't you, doesn't belong. Yeah. So, I, think it's I, I was talking to you. Yes, I think. I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't know what, it's <laughs> all right. I don't know what I've done wrong. That's wrong as well. What I've done wrong? A minute ago, they're fine. Um, do you know? I hate to have TV sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why I messed this up at all. I might just give this to Maggie in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know what I've done wrong. What have I done wrong? That fits. That, that's, that's too big. Oh. There we go. It's because it was because the, with the gluing it got put down to the other yeah, side, and I was talking it. to you. Now I it apologize. fits. Now it fits. It's Notice fine that now. I won't talk during gluing. It's because I was trying to talk as well. I, I, I can't do two things at once, obviously. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> okay, so what I would do then is leave that to set. Um, I might put a rubber band around it, but at the moment I just leave it in the front here because mm -hmm. I want to put the button on it later. So. The camera can see me, I'm putting that across. I'm going to do this one. Okay, so, so this one consists of, don't need that, is you've got your base, mm -hmm. and then you've got your middle shelf, and then you've got a piece at the front. So if you've got one little notch, it's at the front, and that's at the top. That is your front piece. And you've got notches on both sides, that's your back piece, and that's your other side piece. So that's the front again. So we'll just glue that. And these are all in the instructions as yeah, well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, we're just putting yeah. the instructions together. And we will be doing a YouTube video. We're doing vi uh, filming at the weekend. So everything will be it. Yes, we're doing all that. <laughs> Does Maggie know that? Yeah, we did have a discussion about it. We have discussions and we forget what we said <laughs> frequently. I'm glad it's just not me then. <laughs> So I hope they'll be out early next week. Fantastic, yes. So uh, that'll be the dies as well. The, uh, so these will be dispatched from, because we've had a sellout already on the 2nd of September. It could be early, which is a bonus, but if we say the 2nd, that's uh, playing it safe. 1699 for the lovely, lovely memory box drawer kit. So is it, is it, we, we, I think we've got some at the unit, but I'm not quite sure how many we've got. So we, it, does, it does take time to cut them. Well, half of the extended has already gone. This is only the second show we've got with Maggie and Kay. We have no more shows with these lovely ladies today and cool cats. So um, please don't miss out. And if you want to watch the 7 o'clock show uh, with Paola this morning, well, it was, you were doing the magnetic folders for I did, us. Yes, yes, I did the larger, larger one this morning. That's right. So I, what I did, I, I, um, I lined it with Architape. But it's the same technique you'd use for the albums. Great. So if you want so to watch that rewind. Again, they're all on our YouTube. We do have them on our YouTube channel. Great. So I'll just... I'll try not to so distract you in the gluing <laughs> process. <laughs> it doesn't take much for you, know, does it? <laughs> <laughs> like a little butterfly <laughs> the flame, something's <laughs> pretty and off you go. <laughs> okay, so these fit in. Whoops, I'll get this right. So that fits in like that. And then this side will fit like that. that just soft into like that. Okay, and then that will go like that. And that will sit on like that. Yes, Kay. Okay. Waited breath. I was holding my breath, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> so was I. And then I've already put the glue around on that. And then that just slots on like that. If I can just get it on there, will it fit? Yes, it does. There we go. And that is your box done. So it doesn't take long. No. Particularly when you stop talking and I get on. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, and that's your box. So that fits in like that. So that will be how your box is presented like that. So I'll probably put a band around that and just leave that for a few hours. Okay. But as this is TV, we haven't got time to do that. I'll just move that over here so I'm not in the way and I'm going to show you how to thread the buttons how I thread the buttons mm -hmm. if you've got a different way of doing it I'll try and get all the glue off my hands then you can do it your way entirely but you've got, you've got a big button which is for the top and that's for the drawer and then you've got some washers so the slightly smaller one is for the drawer and that's for the um, uh, the lid and again you've got the backing button as well <clears throat> if you've got your own closures or oh, you can put um, a tassel on it yeah okay 
I must say, thank Gina for this, because we did swaps, and I've got some respect for not bring any. <clears throat> so, I'll, do, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do it on the top one. So, that's obviously the lid, and that's the top of the lid. Mm -hmm. So, you have your button. So, this is how I do it. If you know a better way of doing it, you can either put it with a needle if you have a needle, which I haven't got. So, I thread that through. Like that, and I might double up the thread at this point, but just for showing you, mm -hmm. like that. So I put those together. So that then pulls through. Oh, I've done it all wrong already. So we'll do it double. So you put. It's optional, yeah. I suppose, isn't it? This is just nice, nice yeah. that we've got that choice in the kit. So you put that through yeah. there. That through there and pinch a bit of Maggie's tape. So a bit of a tape. And just thread through and do all that one there. And just tape it here because you don't want to lose that piece of thread. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to push through. That. If you had a needle, it would be easier with a needle, but I haven't got one. So push that through. Yeah. Oh, so, so ugly. Come on. But a little bit of wax or something on the end might sort of help yeah, stiffen it as well it out. if you hadn't got a needle. Is there a pokey tool lurking in there? Yes, I've found oh, one. Oh, okay. That's it. Lovely. Pokey Everything, tools everything's fine when you've got a pokey tool. <laughs> so that's what the pokey tools are for. It probably comes through now, doesn't it? No, it hasn't. Let's poke that through then. You should have that through. Oh, for goodness sake. Live TV. It is live TV. It's going to be naughty. It? It's going to do it on live TV. That's because it's this shut. Oh, for goodness sake. That's because the hole moved, isn't it? It's not, <laughs> it's not centered. <laughs> now, That's the reason why. Don't forget, this is extended delivery on the 2nd of September because we've sold out of the lovely memory boxes. But if, if Maggie and uh, Kay can, can, can get it out early as you, they will. 16 99 I just want to flag up while we're threading that 80, we're at 80% of the extended delivery gone now. 527550. And this is the only other hour we have with Maggie and Kay. So, yeah. Check.